Speak. Oh, Gabby. hello. Speak. It's Saturday evening. Sorry for the delay. There's a street fair. Traffic. <laughs> There's a street fair. Cataclysmic <laughs> wave of traffic. traffic. Where'd you get that? Cataclysmic wave of content is Channing Tatum. He said that? He said that about the current state of media. Okay. He's like, there's a cataclysmic wave of content. <laughs> so like, how do you even watch anything? <laughs> uh, I don't think we have jump scares on chat because no. this game is jump scary enough. Last thing we is you I, and I don't know how to do it. I, I do, but I thought about doing it, but um, I don't know. I. Um, Gabby's nervous. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sending a tweet. Gabby's nervous. I saw an amazing play last night, chat. Fetch clay, make man. Thank you. This tweet didn't work. It's not mm. Will Twitter work? We'll see. I hear no audio. Oh, let's just send them out, bro. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Chat, you better tell me you hear the game. You better tell me right now. I want it's no problems. Really <laughs> this, my tweets aren't sending. I hate this. How we doing, chat? Yes. Yo, Madrise was talking about Evil Within DLC. Ten gold to Madrise. <laughs> awesome. I wish you could dole out gold. What's up? In the chat, I wish I you know. could dole out gold. That'd be fun. Got my my Vegas chip raising <laughs> vibe right now. <laughs> Just like splash that pot. All right, let's fucking do it, Gabby. Yeah, sorry, the let's Twitter go. is not working. I'm trying to send a tweet. Get scared. We already did whistleblower, right? Yeah. Sick. So it's this is like, hold on. Hello. <laughs> no, I'm at work. I'm on a stream right now. <laughs> That's okay. This, this thing is upsetting. Okay, bye. This thing's so creep. It's from. Wait, were you here when we got those? Nope. From Get the Fuck Out. Cool game. I have never seen it, but it, it was a great gift. Can we say hi? Of course you can. Oh, you hung up though, so never mind. Oh, that was my friend who lives across the street. She was asking if I could come help her move some furniture right now. Whoa. <clears throat> That's the number one level of friendship. What is? Moving furniture for someone. Even if you live right across the street? Yeah, that's the max. Taking someone to the airport, also top tier. Probably like number two or three. Really? Yeah. Would you take me to the airport? Absolutely, 100%. Take me to the airport. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> if you were like, yo, come over and help me move this bookcase, I'd be like, Can yeah, you do that? Okay. let's go. That's good to know. That's the max. <laughs> Highest levels of friendship, chat. <laughs> Like, if you won't take someone to the airport or move furniture for them, you're not close friends. <laughs> it's just the way it is. I did tell, uh, Marissa and I both told Jason the other day we weren't going to take him to the airport, because it was, like you said, apocalyptic traffic. Yeah. At, and she had just picked me up from the airport, oh, okay. like, the day before, and she was like, fuck that. Also, Jason <laughs> can't afford it. Jason can't afford an <laughs> Uber to the airport. I did not see the Nintendo Direct. It was great. Nice. Yeah. What was the highlight? Pikmin. Pikmin, or, nice. Obviously. Nice. Did it look good? Yes. Mario RPG remake. Remake? Yeah. Not the old one. Remake. On. Because I saw the headline, so I was like, oh, it's about time they put it on no, the. Fully remake. Did and they show it or just super, Yeah. They showed it's it? coming out this year. What the fuck? And Super Mario Wonder. Which is like Super Mario on mushrooms, like psychedelic Super Mario. 
What? Yes, like, you start the level with some kind of debuff, like, I, there was one where Mario was, like, stretched out to be really long. Plays was, best like, on what? drugs? <laughs> Dude, what? Wait, oh shit, I wonder if I got it. Wonder in my fantasy critic. Hold on. Wonder, 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 what's in the wonder ball? Oh. So good. Liberty. Liberty, 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 liberty. 32 months. Love seeds, big screams, Manhattan, Bronx, kings and queens. We got pots and pans and Rangers fans. Chat, we're playing on easy, by the way. How long is this game? For you? <laughs> Six hours. For real. Six hours. For me? For you, maybe seven. Are we gonna do a full playthrough tonight? That was the plan. Oh. It's almost 4 p.m. already, though. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I mean, we can get halfway. We can um, do half. We can do half. At, at uh, Hubert and I went to a Blink-182 concert the other day. Yeah, it was we did. not the one where the, uh, the submarine stepson was at. It was the same tour, but it was the one where Kourtney Kardashian announced she was pregnant. But... Um, at one point, Huber was like, oh, being in the pit is so fun. And I was like, oh, well, you can't see anything. Yeah. And Huber goes, well, you're... <laughs> and I was like, what? So I, like, turned to him, and I was like, what do you mean? He's like, you're short. <laughs> As if it's an insult. As if I don't know I'm short. <laughs> it seemed mean, like, right when I started to say it. I don't know. How is that mean? I don't know. I'm short. <laughs> it seemed somewhat offensive. How is that offensive? I don't know. It just felt like it. It just felt that way. Uh, okay. Sorry, Twitter's not working, so I'm just like... <sighs> nice, Bruno. This game's that scary, dude. Is. We ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. Do I have to play the whole thing? No. But you're definitely getting us started. Okay. That wasn't the deal, if I remember. I didn't have to play. It was the not whole the thing. deal. No, no, no. Difficulties were stated. No <laughs> co-op <laughs> limitations were stated. Just co-op? No, I mean just like handing it off. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already did the whistleblower. This chat is for the Easy Allies Anniversary Fundraiser. This was one of the tiers because of your generous generosity. And uh, yeah, we're doing a full playthrough. We might finish the game tonight. We might not. We're going to see how it goes. You know, ask us again when it uh, when the clock strikes 8 o'clock. See where we're at. <laughs> it's my <like>, God. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> We're going in. I'm really nervous. I was not nervous this morning. To me, now, like... definitively number one scariest jump scare game ever made right here. Outlast. Outlast. No question. If you are triggered by jump scares, this is the game to trigger you. Yeah. Yes. Scariest psychological horror game, I mean, maybe Silent Hill 2. Why? But it's uh, like so well known now, it's just like, seen it so many times. Volume okay? Yeah, I think so, we'll see. Oh yeah, are there naked people? There are, right? Yes. There will be nudity. Put the kids to bed. <laughs> Put the kids to bed. Put them to bed. <laughs> For nudity. Love it. Okay. Oh, no easy. Normal. Hard. Nightmare. Insane. You can probably just die instantly. Yeah. So, normal for us. Intense. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy! You're a Miles Upshur. An investigative what reporter. What a shitty fate made up fake name. Upshur. Miles Upshur. An investigative. Does that, does that um like is it an anagram? Do I think? Know. I don't know. Upshur sounds so fake. Upshur. An investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Doom to hell on earth. 
<laughs> Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can, record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. We're playing this on my account, so I can get those trophies. Get those trophies. <laughs> get those trophies. That sweet plat. We're platting this. Plat this shit. <laughs> you probably should play it on insane to platinum. Thing. Probably. Remember the whistleblower DLC you can find on our archives. It's a prequel. Ranchers and breeders to attend this weekend seminar on Beulah Avenue in Pueblo. Yeah, Resident Evil 7 right here. Tonight, you may see some low helicopters near Silverthorn and Leadville. Seems the Arapaho Park Services will be spraying for an infestation of box elder bugs. Good graphics. Yeah. A massive asylum. Going in. Oh, they're just nauseous. <laughs> yeah, get ready. I haven't even started. This shit's horrifying, dude. Get jump scared, Gabby. I will. I remember this. Yep. Coming the other way. Yep. How sick is that? I'm kind of glad you put it in uh, chronological. It's like watching Star Wars. Yeah. Starting from one, you know? Supplies. September 17th, 2013. Two miles up sure. Tip illegal activity. That was this us. Is the dude. Email we, sent. we were the whistleblower. Yeah. Tip illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software con consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening here. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy, going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkov is making money. It needs to be exposed. Batteries. Hell yeah. Essential. Essential tools, dude. Why would you do this? Testing it. No, no, why would you do this? this. For the story, dude, for the story. Yo, look at the sky, please. This I love Gorgeous. it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous skybox. Top 10 skyboxes. Notes and documents. Wait, what, is, what was that? That just went away. Uh, I was just like, yo, go to the... Open the gate. Okay. This so if you just, yeah, a touchpad, or or left and right is just immediately go to one of those. Or you can just touchpad and do it manually. Okay. I see. I see. How do you lift up your camera? Yep. Yep. And then they'll tell me how to put it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a jump. Nice hops. 10 out of 10 building, dude. 10 out of 10 atmosphere. I remember when I first fucking played this game and rolled up right here, I was just like, oh my god. Oh my god, what am I getting into? It's locked. Oh, I forgot you can... Strafe. <laughs> yeah. First Ooh, person so horror loud. movies? Uh, they're good. Like, found footage stuff is good. There's some good ones. I dig it. I dig me some found footage. They have the potential to be scary as fuck. Super immersive. Oh! See that? Yeah, dude. You might be able to turn off, like, walking Bob, if it bothers I you. I don't care. Cool. To run. 
good running animation. Or just, just like on. camera, I mean. First person. Okay. Locked. Military. Trucks. Fucking around. Ten out of ten hyped on Insidious Red Door. Can't wait. Big Insidious fan. I love them all except the last door. That one was like whatever. But I love one, two, three. Where am I supposed to go? Climb over, maybe. I don't think you can turn the head bob off. Too old, yeah. Here's intent. Ooh. Yo. Whoa. Good that lighting, dude. Here, yeah. What a vibe. What a fucking, like, Jack the Ripper gothic vibe, dude. Ooh. Yo. Good on you. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 09, under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation was a, has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. It might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. There we go. Mm -hmm. Sound. <laughs> okay, Just there's a watching. window up there. Ooh, where, which way do I go? Turn where you want, dude. Because there's a ladder. It's a very linear game, dude. You won't, you won't okay. miss anything. Super Got it. linear. Got it. So linear. This is the most open the game is. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this is it. <laughs> Just getting started. Good music. I don't want to do this. Straight up. Like you tell me, you're telling me you wouldn't just turn around. You're like, I'm good. You should be able to just get back in your car and yeah, drive off. You should. <laughs> just nope the fuck out. Yeah. Get a trophy. <sighs> How do you turn on night vision? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. How do you turn on night vision? Try square, maybe. Yeah. Or right, your batteries with that shit. R3, yeah. Just be oh. careful. Battery drain. We get it drain on the top right. I, I already feel like sick. Dude, creepy. What is? What's just creepy? like the like that's a good like horror horror movie. Just like flashing it on and off the night vision. <laughs> oh my god. I I am I really do not want. 
Gabby, dude, you got a long way to go, man. I know. Like, this is... We're just getting started here. Dude, are you gonna be okay? You don't think I know that? <laughs> You're gonna be alright, dude? No! I just, now since I've played Whistleblower, I just, I know... Yeah, dude, you got through Whistleblower, bro! You got this! <sighs> Oh my god. Any better use of night vision on film than in Sicario? Probably Silence of the Lambs is the goat with that. That scene so creep. We've been in this room. Yeah, we have. Cool it. hand, how you like. I was just about to say I hate that because it's... Scared me. Sorry, just, just a little sniffle. <laughs> oh, there's that priest. I feel like we've seen him before. <laughs> what was that? I think it was the TV. Yeah. What the fuck? Is there any reason to not have your camera up the entire time without the night vision on? Uh, you can see slightly better with it down and not night vision, but I mean, it's no. Wait, no. I thought in the last game, or in Whistleblower, you could see slightly better with it up. Uh, only in the dark. When you're like out of night vision, and you can just see a little bit. Oh, you have a slightly wider field of view. Yeah. So it's a trade off. The dream work. Oops. Can you zoom in again? Ah. Oh, wait, no! There we go. Team Player Award, Patrick something, employee of. Patrick Wilson! Yeah, I'm sure that's it. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna go confidently. More hype. Oh, whoops. Mount Massive Asylum. Wrong way. This way. Case number 174, patient initials WPH Billy, 2014, age 19, therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed to self directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage four hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spermatry, spirometry, spir I think? spermatry, spirometry <laughs> revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate erythrocytes. Erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM NREM cycle. Laughter in NREM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the asylum. This Ooh. represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he's discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wallrider. Okay. Can I 
pick up the phone? No. This blood. Oh, that's cool. So creep. <laughs> So we can't go in there? Let's try it out. Cool. Can I go here? I don't even want to turn my back to that door. Close! I can't close it? Okay. <gasps> What's that? I don't know what that is, dude. It's disturbing now. <gasps> Solid snake. <clears throat> Yo, blood on the ceiling, pretty intense. Dripping through the floor. Yeah. yeah. That's a lake. That means someone basically, like, exploded <laughs> upstairs. George's mic, two months, long respect. Am I gonna fall through this? What? What? Where did that come from? Probably down through that gate right there. Blocked off. I assume I can't open it. Yeah. Barricades. Yeah. I can't just climb over this. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you just climb over that? Maybe. That caused a lot of noise. I'm trying to keep a low profile. Maybe though. Came out like 10 years before Tears of the Kingdom, so... <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's a good one. Do you remember any of this game? I remember some jump scares. I didn't remember that okay. one. I think it was just a body. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I literally don't. I am terrified. Scary game, Wait, dude. You're fine. You have to hide. The variants, dude. TVA. Lock the main doors. Close security control. Why is that blinking? It means you, because you aimed your camera at something, it gave you a note. Fuck out of this terrible place. Those are all optional. It's probably the other page. Yeah, that one. 
I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood, burn marks, heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Mur Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity, fuck the third world, and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. He tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. What's now he wants to get the fuck out. What's stopping you from leaving the way you came? Hmm? What's stopping you from leaving the way you came? Well, now you're, like, in it. Right, but just walk just back. Just walk back, yeah. Pile up all that stuff you saw piled up in the hallway and leave. Yeah. Who's whispering? Oops. So how many years after Whistleblower is this? Couple weeks, probably. At most. But the Outlast Trials coming out is like decades before. Cool. Yeah. Still in early access chat, that's why we haven't played it yet. Waiting. Wait. I'm confused, didn't I? Didn't I come through here? No, that you came on the other side. Okay. Oh shit. Forgot about Forgot about wasting battery. Can you tell me? Mm-hmm. If I am? Yeah. Thanks, Alexander, for the sub. Forty six months, I'm in respect. Oh, he left me my camera. Can you play a little bit? Sure. Need a break? I feel like I'm going too slow. You're good. Front door. Oh. 
In Whistleblower, you could do that. You could try to open any door. Right there. So close yet so far. Hang on, how do we got this? Oh. Nothing is as scary as that one whistleblower scare where the guy runs up behind, runs you. Up behind you. But then nothing happens after. I mean, that is terrifying. To me, I think the one that got me the worst was the guy falling from the. killing himself falling <laughs> yeah. in front of me. Yeah. Ew. Squelching. Love a good squelch. <laughs> Ooh. I can read it. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider. CLW Walker. Their age 32 gender male observing physician, Dr. Rudolf Vernica. Therapy status. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patient's reported dreams. Interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had to, restraints have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. So is that the guy we just... Probably, yeah. Okay. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic edge and cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a true way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Tuatara lizards and their parietal eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding pro progression of the ME process. His predominant fixa fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Chemical and physical. Means like drug him up. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. I feel like I've seen this somewhere, this clip. No coral. Don't turn your back to him. Why would you do that? Yep, watching the game. I want to block his view. They look like Batman Arkham thugs. <laughs> it's the bat. A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. <laughs> Some Yellow Jackets music.
the Murkoff Corp. Warrant for seizure, case number, whatever. A massive psychiatric center, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Mount Massive Wilderness Area, Country Road 112. Affidavits having been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, MHS, who have reason to believe catastrophic security failure, catastrophic. Catastrophic, no, cataclysmic. Oh, oh. No, it was catastrophic wave of. Cataclysmic wave of content. Catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony established established sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant M H M H S full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corp or its subsidiaries for the actions of M H S or the circumstances which require their actions, regardless of responsibility. I feel like you could have fit that on that last page. I was just saying that <laughs> one word. Like put an ampersand instead of and, you know. Yeah. You turn back around to blah, 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 blah. Oh, I thought I saw someone there. I don't think so, though. Such a cool vibe. Oh, it's one of my favorite corpses in games. That one? So good. The spray. Mm -hmm. The splatter. Where's the spray coming from? Probably mech. Oh, yeah. It's got a switch. Splatter and spatter. <laughs> What was? It was some video game thing where they were describing something you collect as luminol, which is the spray you use yeah. to like see blood sweater. I forget what that was. But it was like a happy game. A beast. Big fucking guy. <laughs> guy. BFG. The big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file for a Chris Walker, ex military police. Several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in his, this place is on his hands, but not all of it. so fast. He's like really around the corner. Professional.
basement, they said. That was, there were stairs down yeah. to the basement. Dark it is in here now, dude. How sick is that? Oh God. So cool. Fuck. Light and dark in video games, chat. I love it so much. Just lighting has always been one of my favorite things ever in video games. Helen Grant. <sighs> Dear sirs, the full report pending, no immediate action. Uh, is Oh, the full report pending. No immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Court. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure uh, continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Granite. Could have fit that on the page. <laughs> you could, right? Just yeah. change the margins a little. It's fake yeah. paper. All right, Gabby, I'm going to do this part, and then you're going to play for the longest time. Okay? Because this part... Tough. This is the first like trial. This is tough. Yeah, this what you're about to do. Yeah, this part's hard. It's a hard part. Anything we're at. So I'm gonna do it, and then you're gonna play for one last time. MK Ultra program. Okay, CIA document. Uh, hypnotic experimentation and research, 1954. On Wednesday, 10th fe February, 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in Building 13 of the Mount Massive. Give me some Outlast trials. Uh, Foreshadowing here for sure. You're probably right. Of the Mount Master Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. A post hypnotic uh post hypnotic of the night before, pointed finger you will sleep was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state, with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hip hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was, she was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused, in an awakened state, um, to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. High objects. Mm -hmm. Classic. <laughs> mid 2000s staple. <laughs> or mid 2010s, I mean. Who's there? This part's a bitch. <gasps> Solving puzzles in the dark while being chased. Oh, yeah, no way. Turn on the two gas pumps and the main breaker. I like to ride our dead batteries for as long as we can, even though we can't see shit. Alright, we're gonna pop them actually, fuck it.
What? I thought we could get away. I thought we could get away. This could work, this could work. I could work. This could work. He's opening the lockers, dude. Is he out there, dude? Who I fucking don't... knows? Do you have your night vision? Doesn't help. Fuck it. <laughs> oh my god. Eye frames. Fuck. Yeah, you're done. You're fucking done. Fuck! Oh shit, he knocked the door down! I think he just opened the door. <laughs> Can he also bolt? Oh my no. god! You're fucking done. Wait a little bit longer. Oh. Where he came from, I think. So he came from? We came from. Oh. I remember climbing through a brick. Are you sure? One hundred percent. Oh my god, sorry, sorry. Oh my god. Shut it! <laughs> Sh damn it, shutting the door is yeah, so the hard! Yeah, shutting the door in this game is way worse than, um, than in, uh, He's just gonna open it. He's just gonna open it. We're right where we want to be. It's hard. Still six left. <gasps> oh, 
fuck in there. This part's tough, dude. This is a trial. It's a real trial here. It's always the generator segments in games. Remember Last of Us? I mean, I was telling you, uh, that's the only part of Last of Us I hate, is the generator level. So the tough. Generator part. In the, isn't it the basement of the high school or something? Yeah. Yep. Alright, let's go. We're boxed in here, this is the only way to get out. Yep, yep, yep. Fuck. Come on, dude, we gotta get through there. Oh my god, dude! Holy shit! What the f- are you gonna have to do all this shit again? Dripping water, water myself. If we die, if we die. <laughs> oh my god! What? Why are you doing that? Ah! You throw me! <laughs> um. Do we seem to leave now? I don't fucking. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Where the fuck are you supposed to go? I think back. Through the brick wall? No, oh no! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> You think he's gone? Yeah, we're out. <laughs> Did something fall? A person! I didn't even see it! I just heard him yell and then and then splat. That was so intense. Turn to security control. That was this way. Game over. We win. We leave and win. <laughs> Let me do this. Just, Just yeah. some injection, dude. Fuck. I'm sorry, my son. My son. I didn't want to have to do this to you. But you can't leave. Not yet. There is so much yet for you to witness. Teeth. Will you see it? Can you? Fear vibes. Our Lord, the wall rider, tearing his truth into the unbelievers. The only way out of this place is the truth. Whoa. Accept the gospel, and all doors will open before you. Nice. Well, Foxy, I want to check it out. Big progress. <sighs> Condemned vibes. It's hinting you to record them. Does it want me to hide or it's just like me I can't out? Okay. Just tell me. Okay. The priest Father Martin brought me here to show me something. Thinks I'm gonna be a witness for whatever batshit crazy he's trying to sell me. This Dr. Wernicke is at the center of whatever went wrong here. But he died more than ten years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood in the on the wall. Yeah, I miss Condemned too. Really miss it.
No quarrel. He was doing a nice thing for me. The suffering. Manhunt. The dark number, the darkness. It's so crazy when there's a video game franchise and then it just is no more. I don't know. What creepo? Should I try? Yeah, get right up in his face. <laughs> Can you imagine doing that outside of his cell? Just like, yo, bro. Can't get me. It's giving me a Riddick vibes, this? vibe chat. Naked! Dick's out. Not here. We give him a running start. There's an idea. And when we kill him, we kill him slow. Such patience. Now on his tongue. And liver, they are yours. <gasps> Just naked. Talking about eating you, dude. Yeah. Like butchering you. Who the hell's feeding these guys right now, you know? Oh, uh, I think dead people, dead other people. Yeah. So I guess. Yes. Eating corpses? Yeah. I saw somewhere that when there's like a situation like this where people are trapped, like the speed at which cannibalism happens is like alarming. It's crazy. Yeah. Yellow jackets, bro. Space. Oh, oh. Leave me alone. Where am I supposed to go? Oh. Where am I supposed to go? Charlie Doris. <laughs> that was a good one. Also, touchpad is your objective. No objective. Just wander around, open some doors. Cool. This guy's gonna jump up at me for sure. Escape from Alcatraz. Uh, I don't like jumping up to places I can't see. Silky! <laughs> oh my god. That was a good one. 
that was a really good one. You weren't invited to this, you goddamn sicko! Okay. No coral? Yeah, I'm out of here. No coral, dude. Oh, I got a thing. Nice. Can I close this, you think? No. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Yeah, sick. <laughs> Bye. Hell yeah. Bye, dude. Uh huh. I'm assuming I'm supposed to go that way, so I'm gonna check this way for. Oh, but my shit. I'll never forget playing this game for the first time. And my roommate came home after a couple hours. I was just so immersed and so terrified and scared in a pitch black room by myself. Uh -huh. My roommate came home and the door opened and like the light came through and that was a jump scare and I fucking threw the controller <laughs> like, across the room. Dude. He's like, oh! <laughs> Thankfully, we are doing okay on batteries. Always How do you lean again? L2, R2. Uh, when you're running, if you push one of those two, you can look behind you. What? Wait, yeah. really? L1 is run, and then L2 or R2 while you're running. While you're running, yeah. Oh, shit! Like that. that really turns you around, though. Yeah. My first time playing this game, all I remember was my PS4 hard crashing and having to send it in. <laughs> well, that sucks. Yeah, I played it on PS4 as well. I gotta play 2 again, Chad. I only played it once for review. I remember liking it. Wait. Is this where we saw through the door that those naked guys were like, we want to eat him? Possibly. A lot of these cell blocks kind of look similar, so I cannot be 100% certain. God always provide. Yeah, this is the direction they were in. Cool. Do you have to manually reload? Yeah. When you don't, you get just way less distance, but you can still see in the yeah. dark. It's just, if it's pitch black, you have, you'll have you have to be like really close to see. Yeah, this is totally where we were in Muscle Bay. It looks so similar. Yeah, it looks so similar. Hanging in there, bro. So we got five batteries and a full one. Looking good. Back here. Should be, dude. Should be a fucking Korok seed. I wish you could pick up the walkie talkie and be like, hey, help. Well, when we came in, they said the it was a signal jammer. Our cell phone went out. And he's like, yeah, it's probably a jammer. Chat, dude, Walking Dead, Dead City, so fucking sick. Did you see the all the episodes of The Bearer out? I know. All of them. Yeah. I didn't know they were gonna do that. I didn't either. I don't like that. They did the same thing with Black Mirror. I don't like that they do that. Like, it's such Black a dis. Black Mirror was always all the episodes, right? On Netflix, it was. Yeah. It's just a disservice to it because that show demands analysis and conversation and water cooler talk. Mm. You know? Yeah. So I personally am just gonna watch one every other day. Show some restraint. But also with like binging culture, it's just like you can't talk about it because like people are either ahead of you or behind you. You're nervous about spoilers, so you wanna like rush through it, but also I wanna like take my time and like contemplate it. Yeah. I got a beverage. Would you like a beer? Sure. You going downstairs? Yeah. Can you get me a big bottle of water too? Yeah, I will spare you, I promise. Thank you. Hi, chat. I was telling you about the play I saw yesterday. 
the Kirk Douglas Theater. It was called Fetch Clay Make Man, and it was about the relationship between um, Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, and Step and Fetch It. Um, hence the fetch and the clay. Um, it was incredible. And I highly recommend if you live in or near Los Angeles going to see it. It's in previews right now. I got to see it early. Um, but it, I think the premiere is Sunday, tomorrow. And they had, um, what's his name from Justice League, a movie I didn't see, but Ray Fisher played Muhammad Ali. And he was great. He had the like physicality and the voice of Muhammad Ali like down pat and his body crazy, body crazy. He was incredible in that part. It was amazing to behold. It was awesome. And it was um, only five actors. No real set changes. Um, it was great to see good theater in Los Angeles because there's also a lot of bad theater here. But there, it was good to be um, reminded that there's good theater. Here. But the guy playing Step and Fetch It in particular was like uh, incredible to behold, just an insane performance. Um, yeah. I think my beer is arriving. You have to wait for it. Well, I'm not gonna play it Too alone. Too scared, I'm, Yes. Daddy. I'm not afraid to say it. Too scared. Too scared. <laughs> Terrifying game. I was telling the chat about the play I saw last night. Nice. <laughs> Yo, Secret Invasion was a fucking 10 out of 10. That's all I know. It's like my favorite shit. Rabbit while squatting. <laughs> you can say, and I think everyone's pretty minding their There's own business at this point. Oh, sorry. Uh, from Wolf Ram, is that a Wolfram? Wolf Wolf Ram Heart, is that a angel reference chat? Martin Archambaud, Helen, Dr. Zeitner gave me your info to contact regarding the cancellation of the arts program. My patient, Martin Archambaud, has made enormous strides in his therapy on account of his finger painting. Just in the week since canceling the arts program, his psycho schizoaffective, schizoaffective ass assertions of some higher calling have accelerated enormously. Please just let the man finger paint. The few dollars you're saving on temper paint is more than swallowed by the cost of clozapine. I can't imagine the logic at play here unless Murkoff wants our patients to become more disengaged from reality. Please advise. Wolfram Hart, dude. Great villain. There's a really cool Avengers 2 nod when Thor looks up. There's a wolf, a ram... And like a heart. And it's like Wolfram Heart. What's that a reference to? Angel. Oh, the show Angel. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. Yeah. Dude. Sick show. <laughs> Fucking sick show, dude. One of Noah's favorites. Yeah? Noah has phenomenal taste every time. <laughs> Noah has the best taste. We... Every time I bring something up, you're like, oh, Noah likes that. I feel like you're like <laughs> some shit. Yeah. 
Yeah, Insidious, dude, day one. I'm super behind, though. I haven't seen Transformers, Boogeyman, or... Flash. You saw Spider-Verse. Yeah, we did. Okay, so something's about to chase me, obviously. For sure. They're not going to tell you that unless... It's like when you walk through an area and there's just weapons and ammo lying yeah. about, and you're like, well, you're like, I guess okay, I'm about cool. to use this. Yeah. I think I'm seeing Asteroid City tomorrow. Someone I know hated it, but I also saw some really good reviews. Which way am I supposed to go? That door? It's always follow the lights, dude. I Maybe. know, but there's light here and light here. <laughs> follow both. Linear again. Super linear. You're never gonna get lost. Don't overthink it. Truly. Disney? Fuck yeah. Maybe. How do I sprint? Hell one. Huh. Or is this guy about to chase me? They were oh, way to find out. They were rituals. Rituals, oh, dude. Country. Conjuring. Outlast Trials, dude. Hyped. Chat, what's a game that just came out on Steam that's gonna be in early access for two years, so I won't play it until 2025? <laughs> and it's like an 8 bit battlefield? That's Sh cool. Shit looks so sick. Okay, so I have to go the other way. I really don't want to do this. Yeah, you do. You gotta go. Battle Bit. Yeah, Battle Bit Remastered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That game looks dope. I would love to see a speedrun of this game. It's probably super fast. He's gonna chase me. No fear, dude. Just let it happen. He'd probably start chasing you already. I thought you'd stay quiet. It's got no horror, man. Stop. He is going to chase me. Maybe. Honestly, maybe. It just said, like, make sure you know how to hide. I like you stay quiet. It's got no quarrel, bro. You can do that. Am I supposed to go in? I don't know what my objective is right now. Am I Live. supposed to go in here? Yeah. I like you can do that. Just don't go near him. Ah! I'm taking over. Get back! I'm sorry, I'm going slow. Sorry, right, dude, don't apologize. No fear, bro. Fearless. Try that. Oh, I think he just hits you if you get close to him. I don't think he's chasing you. Yeah. There we go. There's the chase. Oh, uh, if you... Taking the hit to make the play. <laughs> he's, he's just gonna slow him down. He's gonna kick 
はいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいSo slowly and gets in so slowly. Yeah. Oh god. You're out of here. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know where we're supposed to go. <laughs> oh. nope. nope. You're gonna run into him again. No fear. No fate but what we make. Follow the blood, follow the blood. You gotta be Wait. Good shit, good shit. Thank you. Good shit. Ooh, those naked guys again. <laughs> Vegas was fucking awesome. So much gambling. Five or six days straight of non-stop gambling. We did not go to shows. We did not go to the pool. We did not go partying. We strictly gambled. Oh, uh, Grandma didn't go. It was me, my friend Brent, and my friend Teen. Did they have fun? Oh my god, yeah. It's amazing. Same thing next year. It's our yearly tradition. That's fun. I was in for a lot of money, and I ended up, after everything, losing a tiny bit. Tiny, tiny bit. I want a lot on sports betting and blackjack and craps to help alleviate. I bet fucking huge on Kershaw, dude, against the Angels, and he won. It was huge. <laughs> Chad, I did a nine-game parlay with my friend. We did a nine-game parlay, so if all nine baseball teams we picked had won, we would have won 8500 bucks. We won seven out of nine. Yeah, but didn't you lose the first one? We lost the first yeah, and so the you last. Already knew yeah, it was yeah. Done. That's devastating. Yeah. Gabby, what's the most money you would be willing to bet in a single game, or like how much would I take to Vegas? So Vegas, like everything in today's society, has inflated. We've been priced out. Any normal human has been priced out of the strip. Last year, there were $15 minimum tables of blackjack and craps at some casinos like Paris and Dally's and stuff. Now, every single casino we went to on the Strip, whether it was a weekend or a weekday, dude, Monday, Tuesday, whatever, 25 minimum. $25 minimum bet. So, okay. we went downtown to like legitimately the oldest, most historic fucking legendary blackjack spot ever. Single deck blackjack at El Cortez downtown. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. And my new favorite spot in all of Vegas, just off the strip, dude, it's right there, but it's like a block down. So like the strip is like right there, but you're here, it's, it's so close. It's called Ellis Island. 
and it looks like a fucking liquor store. We go in, five dollar minimums, ten dollar minimums, family owned, cozy jolly vibes, and they're a fucking brewery. They make their own beer. That's cool. It's amazing. <laughs> Ellis Island, literally the best kept, kept secret in, in Is Las Vegas. That your, was that your favorite place you went? Yes. Your favorite thing you did? Uh, Ellis Island, 100%. So I'm going cool. there every time now. It's my favorite spot. That's awesome. Yeah, 100%. That's great. So sick. Five or ten dollar minimums, chat. That's it. Because, again, everything on this trip is 25. It's insane. It's so dumb. There was one time when we all combined 100 bucks each, 300 bucks with one of us, Brent was playing, because mm -hmm. it was 25 minimum. So we're like, dude, if we all buy in 100 separately, we get like four bets. Yeah. So we all just pooled it 300. Smart. And we lost the fucking sickest hand, dude. It was fucking brutal. Dealer had a four chat. We had threes. We split like 18 19 dealer hits for 20 it was for like 800 bucks it was like, fuck <laughs> <laughs> i feel like so when you go to vegas and it's not the world series of poker do you have like an amount that you're like okay this is how much i'm gonna spend yeah always what how much is it am i allowed to ask that when i if i'm not playing yeah like a grand max that's what i was gonna say yeah like, for like that length of time thousand dollars it's maximum yeah. that's what i was gonna say Especially yeah. if I just got my paycheck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Max. Shit's expensive, dude. And you gotta be, you know, you gotta be ready to play. Come, or... Like, but aren't the hotels, can't the hotels be kind of cheap? We got free. What? Because we play. Uh, free rooms, yeah. So at the, if you are in the World Series of Poker, you get a free hotel room? We, I mean, we, we just have, like, player cards from gambling in general. So it's, like, the World Series and because we gamble a lot, so we get free rooms. Like, do we fucking gamble hard, Gabby? You have no idea. Wait, how does that equate to free rooms? Because they want you to stay in their hotel if you gamble a lot, so you play. It's very easy but to get a free room. But how do you get... You just use a player's card when you play What's anything. A player's card? You just get, like, a Caesar's reward card. Does it cost money? No. So you just, like, anytime you gamble, you throw it out, and you're accumulating points... Oh, and then okay. it's very easy to go for your own in Vegas if you gamble even like a little bit. So you had points built up yeah. so you could just... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Care to read? Murkoff maintenance memo. <laughs> Proper purge gate maintenance is crucial to Project Wall Rider Security. Please refer to Murkoff Core. Maintenance manual M or seat guidance from a supervisor with the proper security clearance. Yeah, we gamble fucking hard. That sounds really fun. It's so fun. You want you want to be with us in Vegas, chat. You want to be with me and my friends. Every time we roll up to a table, too, everyone is fucking stoked. The dealers are stoked because we're betting for them, so they're in the hands with us. People at the table are stoked because we're playing correctly. It's just an all-around good, friendly time, dude. Oops. Like, we hit on 16 when the dealer has a fucking 10, even though nobody wants to. <laughs> Craps was amazing. I had one roll that was like 10 plus minutes. It was really awesome. Except we lost so much fucking money to Hard 8, dude. I'm sorry. So much, dude. Hard 8 fucked me this time. <laughs> hard 8, hard 6, dude. It kept, it kept coming up soft. So any money we had, we like kept breaking even on the 6 and the 8 because we kept going hard, dude. <laughs> Hard eight for sentimental reasons is just my favorite bet in Las Vegas. I love it so much. It's a, it's a kind of a bad bet, but it's my favorite. Uh, a little bit of roulette, which we also won. I put some money on black for a friend of mine, and it was very profitable. It was very nice. We did. We did it three times, chat, black, and we won all three times. The best part about it is, before the third time, 
we were going to put it on it, and the dealer was like, no, 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 wait a sec. And it was red. <laughs> Saved us. And then we put it on, and it was black. Wait, why did it, whoa. Why did it say no, no, wait a minute? Who asked you to bet on black? This is a friend of mine. Okay. Like, oh, you're going to Vegas? Like, put put ten on black. And then we put ten on black and won. And then later we put twenty on black and won. And then that third time we did thirty. We would have lost, but then we won. Yeah, chat. I wish we could do an Easy Eyes meetup in Vegas. Like, I want to play craps with y'all so fucking bad. I love it. I love gambling! But I honestly, like, probably won't gamble until next year. Which is nice, you know, I go big. If I'm gonna gamble, I do it once and I go, once a year, go big. Ah! That man has glowing eyes and a fucking knife. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god, dude. That guy just fucking snuck up behind you. That was so dope. That was so dope. That was a good one. That was such a fucking good one. What the fuck? Uh... <sighs> Am I mid being attacked? <laughs> you are dead. Is that the first death? I think it's the first death. Yeah, that was a kill. I don't even know how... <laughs> that was a straight up kill, dude. <laughs> oh, you're- dude, so generous. So generous. I feel like that window is saying, like, climb out of me. No, you know it definitely I mean? is, but... Yeah. Make a break for it, dude. You got nothing to lose. Make a break. Yeah. Run for it. Jump out. Love it. Love it. Just hold tight. Can you shimmy over? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was just, it was a good, good death. <laughs> it was such a good death. Good clip. Knife in the dark. <laughs> Seven batteries is really it's about to be in this one. Okay, okay. It's very nice. Are we supposed to go? The objective is the showers, right? Yeah, but I, I think I'm... Oh, wait, I'm supposed to go. All the light, for sure. You always say that, but there's often light on both sides. Yeah. Well, one of them will be like a battery and a collectible, and the other one will be the crit path, usually. Well, yeah. So, the light is always good. And if you miss some of the documents and shit, it's fine. I just don't miss batteries. Please find attached a copy of the death certificate for Rudolf Wernicke, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, subcontractor, no surviving family. State of Colorado, hold the light to view watermark, Colorado Mount. Massive Preserve, Rudolf Gustav Wernicke. Like the residents in city or town where death occurred, seven months. How long in U.S. if of foreign birth? 55 years. Married, single, 1918 to 09. I hereby certify that I attended de deceased from June 4th, 2003 to 2009. 1918 to 2009? That I, yeah, what? 90... That I Almost saw him alive years. on 09, that death occurred on the date above at 4 11 a.m. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Principal cause of death and related causes of importance were as follows. Heart failure due to advanced age. This is to certify that this is a true and correct copy of the official record. Want to go for a sec? You're stressing. You're stressed out. Gross. Electric chair? Seems like it. Yeah. yeah. I've never been to a casino, sort Wait, what? Never been to a casino? Yeah. Not just Vegas? Yeah, never been to a casino. What? That's crazy. What do you mean? You're the luckiest person ever, dude. Why have you not <laughs> gone to a casino? I don't understand this. I never had the opportunity. Dude, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> I what? Did you already do this? <laughs> did I? I think so. Where, when and where would I have gone to a casino? Dude, Commerce, right here. World famous. I don't... It's 15 minutes from here. When would I have gone? Like, I don't know. I don't... I don't know. Or like, dude, everyone goes to... Well, not everyone. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. Many <laughs> people and many... Girls go to Vegas when they Girls. turn 21. It's oh. like a thing. Okay, but when I turned 21, yeah. I was in Boston, Massachusetts. Got it. So how and why would I have, why would I fly to Vegas? Great question. With what money? Great question. A lot of girls when they <laughs> turn 21. It's, it's like a thing, dude, <laughs> isn't it? I don't fucking know. Isn't it a thing? Not, not that I'm aware of. I mean... It's crazy because I actually think I would love Vegas, but I just never had the opportunity. Whoa. Ah! Oh, <laughs> shit. Whoa. Oh my god. Or pile. <laughs> I feel like this playthrough is going to be mud. It's gonna be mostly. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Jesus! I just pulled a muscle in my throat from screaming. <laughs> We're dead. We are dead. We are dead. We are dead. They're dead. They're all dead! Kittredge, you've never seen me very upset. That's where he came from, that's where he came from. How crazy that is. What? So you can see him with the camera, but not with your eyes. I feel like this game is going to, or this playthrough is mostly going to be like me playing the walking sections where there's very few jump scares, and then as soon as Yuri gets annoyed with how slow I'm going, he takes control of her. Oh, this is good, this is good. Yeah, idiot. Idiot. This is good, this is good. Oh my god! This guy's friendly, dude. That's where I'd be, right there. I would just be chilling right there. <laughs> Yo, fight pit. Now it turns into Sifu. I wish. Which I is wish this was. Hmm. Yo, Resident Evil Code Veronica vibes. It's a nod. I said I have an itch. Scratch his itch for a trophy.
these guys following this around. Dead, dead city chat shit is real real deal i'm gonna spoil a set piece they're walking through the streets of new york city really cool setting Nowhere. really fucking cool setting is it actually new york city it's or manhattan. Is it the set? manhattan is it actual probably not probably a set but they're on manhattan island or toronto and this is like at this one in walking dead we're like 15 plus years into the zombie apocalypse right so they get there and it's like totally fucking silent as soon as they make the slightest noise dude the quietest noise the zombies just start going towards the noise but they're on the fucking skyscrapers dude they're in the buildings mm -hmm. so zombies are just like falling from the sky dude just like splattering on the ground just like boom 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 like Falling onto cars, falling in the street, falling on like lamp posts, Whoa. like shit was so. Are they getting up when, after sick. they fall? The zombies? Mm -hmm. No, they're they're they, they, they explode too. They like get uh. obliterated. Yeah. <laughs> so Dead City filmed in Jersey. Okay. Sick. It's so sick, and it's only six episodes too, so it's like quick. Oh. Isn't it like the Negan origin story or it's, something? No, it's after everything. Oh, so it's Negan, it's Negan and Maggie. He's like anti-hero. Okay. Obituary from blah, 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 blah. Rudolf <laughs> Wernicke. Dr. Wernicke, age 90, passed away doing the work he loved on February 28th, 2009. One day from a leap year, dude. My mom. He was born in 1918 in Munich, Germany, and achieved fame in the mathematic and scientific communities for a paper written with early comp computing pioneer Alan Turing. The Turing test. After an imitation game chat, don't skip it. After a cloudy history with the German <laughs> war effort, he emigrated to the U.S. in 1949 with a visa from the State Department. Several decades of government research in Los Alamos led to New Mexico, where Dr. Wernicke retired to pursue landscape photography and care for his cats. Hmm. He came to Colorado shortly after the turn of the millennium to pursue charitable work for the Murkoff Corporation. A statement for the company calls Dr. Wernicke, quote, a true humanitarian with a generous spirit. He leaves no survivors. The zombie with a rat in the mouth is good. And like the fucking bugs, that There's was good. There's a zombie with a rat in his mouth? Yeah, they were like really cool. There's like a really cool bug scene. I'm digging it. When I went to New York, I saw an enormous, I mean, all the rats in New York were enormous, but an enormous rat in the middle of the street. Yeah. On the sidewalk, it was crazy. No core, bro. Yeah, that is, it's a cool little nod then, having a rat because it's New York, you know? Right? Whoa! Zombie is a rat pizza. Very New York guy. Yeah, that is very Did you ever tell you about the story about the guy who in New York in New York City? Yeah, it was like a chihuahua sized rat. Um There was a guy in New York City, a sinkhole opened up underneath where he was standing, and he fell three stories, thirty feet, into a pit. And he was okay. But people were like, oh my god, are you okay? Are you okay? It was full of rats Jesus. just crawling all over the place. Something disturbing. Yeah, and he was he was okay. Like he was alive, but he was afraid to open his mouth and scream because he was afraid a rat would Oh, his you mouth. told me that you told me. I did that. tell you that. That is so disgusting. What 
The word wall rider is all over this place. Murkoff was running an experiment here called Project Wall Rider, but the patients talk about the wall rider like it's a physical presence, a spirit or demon, something they found in the mountain. I'd chalk it up to schizophrenic delusion, but I just saw something. Maybe. Maybe it was a glitch in the camera. Or maybe this place is getting to me. Chat, I haven't checked. Did I get any games this week on Fantasy Critic? as a weapon. Yes, yes. Take your sock off. Bah! Put the batteries Such in your sock call. and whoosh, 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 it's a great call. you know? I know I'm still winning, but did I pick any games up? Oh, no, I put my shoe back on. You take your shoe off, take your sock off, put your shoe back on. Yes, I did bid on stuff. Look at this, dude! Oh my god! Whoa. Dude! Just flew by. It did? Yeah. I completely missed it. A literal ghost. Like a fucking... There was a ghost in the last game. Yeah, it was like a spirit. Some spirit. I'm sweating. Spirit of vengeance. Maybe ghost rider. Ooh. Fuck this place. Seriously, just fuck this place. Dying <laughs> keeps moving lower on the list of the worst things that could happen to me here. <laughs> Remember in Rambo when Rambo ripped that dude's throat out? The Rambo reboot? Oh! Can't get me, bro. 
Try it. Try it, bro. Try it. You don't. He tried it. He tried it. He tried it. Oh my god. You're still alive. How are you still alive? Why? Go the wrong way. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah! What the f- What the f- Oh, it's full of water, oh. you can't- <laughs> What do you get to that? <laughs> How do you even get to that other- other valve track? Okay. Debbie, would you watch the new Evil's Dead Rise movie? I've seen the first duel then. So it's gotta be this. Okay, this is. Look back, can you see him? Is he still chasing you? Yeah. There it is. Flush. Flush it. What did that say? Use the ladder to something? Yeah, they could not. Call our bluff again? Oh, the water oh, hole that you were trying to get into before. I really wish you could throw a rock. You... I don't think you wait long enough. Yeah. That's fine. Oh my god, he's really like, grabbed your legs! Oh! I told you, wait a little bit longer. I always love in stealth games like tailing someone. Oh no. Me too, but that's if you have a weapon. <laughs> you can possibly defend yourself. Yes. There it is. Go down quick. Go down quick. Jump scares are not live. It's a little too intense. Yeah, Gabby's about to have a fucking heart attack. Yeah, last time I was shaking that vine, they got to me, chat. Classic. Reminds me of Alien. Some steam valve. Whatever it is. 
shit's so cool. That shit's so fucking cool. It's just so well crafted. It's like Mental Asylum horror stuff can be so cheesy and cliche, you know, but they just craft their atmosphere so well. I want to climb down that pit, but I also want to see what's over here. You don't want to miss any Korok seeds. <clears throat> yeah. It's battery below you, I think. Oh. They're easier to see in Whistleblower. Could have been a complaint. They were like, alright, let's make them yeah, a little easier. Yeah. Sick. 10 out of 10 batteries. Oh, what I really would like to see, a speed run of this with no battery usage. Oh, dude, I bet someone did it. Oh, I'm sure. sure. Unfazed. You just know the game so... Whoa. River of blood. Bone and sinew. Male ward, female ward. <laughs> Could you climb up there? You know? There's a trophy for playing and not reloading the camera. Whoa. You remember Zanzibar? Have you ever played a Metal Gear game? Will you when that collection comes out? Maybe. I would. I. I would really like to. Yeah. The first one is like. If you don't look anything up, it'll take you like probably 15 hours. Have you played any of 15? 16. 16. <laughs> Sorry. A uh, tiny bit. Too many games, too many things. And you're not really playing games at the moment. No, my god, dude. I came back and there was Secret Invasion, more episodes of Silo, The Bear, entire season two, Walking Dead, Dead City, new season of Catching Killers. What's Catching Killers? A true crime documentary show about how people catch serial killers and shit. Uh, definitely some more that I'm forgetting about. Fucking invasion, dude. Ew. Wide face, 76 months on her side, and Black Mirror, it's out of control. Yeah, The Bear is one of the best shows on TV. As People are is, saying this season is like one of the best seasons of television, period. Fuck yeah. Yeah. As is Silo. Silo is the new Yellow Jackets. Really? Yep. Yellow Jackets had a sophomore slump. Really big bummer. Mm. It was fine. It was good. I'm still in. But uh, I feel the same way about Yellow Jacket Season 1 as I do Silo Next Season really? 1. Really? Yeah, it's a 10. I'm obsessed. Because I watched the first two episodes of Silo and I was like, this is kind of mid. Damn, crazy. I think it's 10. Because it's like a bunch of people who have seen The Amazing and other things and I thought their performances were bad. Damn. Like, I, I love, love David Yellow and I was like, yeah. why? Oh, I love him. Like, why is everyone fighting this script? <laughs> Big fan. Big, big fan. I'm gonna finish it. Maybe I'll like it better. But I'm just like, yeah, this script. Hmm. Yeah, Rebecca Ferguson is a maze. Out of control. I really dig it. I'm gonna watch Extraction 2 because I love the first one. There's so much. Everything just dropped. It's crazy. So many movies in the theaters, so many games, like literally in the last month. It's almost time for Barbenheimer. Yep. Crazy. Mission Impossible. 
this one's closed. Oh! Oh, okay. Is this one closed? <laughs> Jesus! That was so good. His mouth is like, you see his... Where's your battery? Sewn. Huh? Oh, thank you. See, he's like sewn. Yeah. With his mouth. There's like stuff in his Zoom mouth. Zoom in on that shit. Dude, what the f? Who I mean, is this guy? Jesus. So is uh, Fury gonna call Colson chat? Wouldn't Colson be your first call if you're Fury? Oh. Or Melinda May. Is he alive? Wouldn't you call the cavalry, dude? He says that in the trailer, too. <laughs> cavalry. There's a cavalry nod, but it's probably literal cavalry, not Melinda May cavalry. There's a hole there. That's what it's Gabby, if Melinda May shows up in Secret Invasion, I will throw up of hype. Why are you telling me? Because. <laughs> I will throw Who's up. Who's Melinda May? Uh, shield agent. High ranking shield agent. Part of Coulson's team. Oh, great. And, uh, you know, maybe even more than a team member to Coulson. If you catch my drift. <laughs> If you catch my drift. Sure. Yeah, Ming Na Wen, she was. Oh, it's Ming Na Wen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I love her. The triple threat Disney star. Star Wars, Disney, and Marvel. Dude, if she shows up, I will die. <clears throat> Oh my god. I know I'm obsessed with Secret Invasion because waiting a week for each episode is like torturous. <laughs> Give me it! Yeah, Chloe Bennett has constantly denied, 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 denied. And it's like the really good denial where she's like, guys, seriously, I am not in this. I'm just letting you know. I'm not in this. I would have loved to have been. It's like one of those denies where it feels so real. Where it's like, okay. Alright. But maybe, dude, maybe she could just be a pro. I mean, she's been in the game so long. Yeah, it feels real. Because she, ke yeah, she keeps getting, like, accosted. Yeah, Zio. Yeah, she was in a target. And someone came up and was like, Hey, are you gonna be in Secret Invasion? Are you gonna be- So rude. Yeah. So she's like, yo. Setting it straight. Setting that shit straight. Proud of you, Gabby. Good job. Progression, dude. Progression in the game. Progression in the sewers. We're looking for- We're looking for Splinter. How far out. into the game are we? Almost done. One eighth. Really? Probably like a fourth or a third at most. Two eights. <sighs> what was that? Chat, theoretically, who could Fury call for help? Like, other than Hill, there's, like, Coulson. Can you get up there, right? Oh, Ooh, I can. Any kind of Avenger, I guess, but, like, no. This is meant to be a battery burner, huh? Because the ones he, yeah, the ones he was closest to are is MIA slash KIA. Huh? Battery, battery, battery. It, but, oh, okay, so I think I'm not supposed to go up here, so I'm going to try to go up here and see if I can get a better. <laughs> Clint, yeah, you could call Clint. That's a good one. 
He could totally call Clint Barton. Captain Marvel's way... Who the hell knows where. Wait, isn't there a Captain Marvel thing coming out? November. He could, yeah. He could totally call Captain Marvel out of nowhere, and then that leads into the movie. That could happen. Is this where it came from? No. If a door is ajar, it means always go through it. You're so right. Yeah. Documents, dude. Already weak, cold, it's still bleeding, but it doesn't hurt anymore, and I almost have quiet. I can't hear the wall rider anymore. Maybe the therapy is wearing off. I can't remember the dreams. I said I could earn my release from this place by submitting to the therapy. Lies. Of course they were lying. It was not therapy. We were sacrificed to conjure a demon. Mm. Please let there be no dreams. The only hell... The only hell... The only hell... Yeah, Fury doesn't have a lot of contacts you can call, really. It's pretty epic. I also love that the director of it is directing every episode. Like, the show's fucking legit. I am hyped, chat. I am hyped. Secret Invasion, potential to be the best. It's really good. There's only one episode, too. Easy to catch up. Just walk, watch the one, and then you'll know if you're in or out. I'm big in. Hard in. <laughs> big in. Big in. Big in. Definitely called War Machine. I mean, that's probably gonna happen for sure. We know Don Cheadle's in it. I feel like they're gonna be like adversarial, though. I'm a little nervous about that. War Machine gets pretty oorah, if you know what I mean. He's got he's got loyalties. Awesome. Just imagine doing this if you were Leon S. Kennedy, you'd feel so much like safer. If I had a weapon. <laughs> I hear like fucking chains. Yeah, I do too. Like the butcher, dude. Watch your battery, dude. Keep moving. Keep moving. I don't want to. Get be... through this, dude. Get through this. Keep moving. <laughs> yeah, keep moving. Keep just go, go, run, run. Run. I can't. I'm Run. in the water. Oh, keep this moving. is as fast as I can move. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, you're fine. Just take the bed. I think I ought to go fast. I think I ought to run faster than this. This is the vehicle's top speed. Okay. Generous checkpoint. Very. How did he get down here? You can definitely get out of running this water battle. But that's not as fast as you can usually run. That, I was I was you sprinting. Were, you were. L1, right? <laughs> okay. I was sprinting. I tried to believe you. I believe you. I trust you. You got this. Dark is fuck all down here. When in doubt, comb the perimeter. That's what I was literally yeah. doing, but I went the other way. No, I mean for like every game ever made. Comb the perimeter. Get to the tree line. Do The Last of Us this? <laughs> Dude, I love when you do a funny one and their arm gets all like, they're <laughs> yeah. just like. Yeah, I'm lost as fuck. What the fuck? 
Was that him? <laughs> Did we? It completely turned around. I don't know. Might as well try, try to go yeah. through there. Wait, look exactly. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's where he came from. Okay, let's go to that way. Maybe this is. Is that a ladder? Oh, nice. Aha! Absolute maze. Oh. Chasing down. Turn the tables. <laughs> Use so many batteries and we still have none. Yeah, it's nice. Wow. Oh. Gospel of Sand. Found scrawled in pencil on the back of an admittance form. Handwriting matches samples from patient father Merton Archambo. Um, the god, this god is real. What we've mistaken so long for ghost spirits madness, we were only willfully ignorant. The scales on Saul's eyes were fear. Saul Goodman. <laughs> and when you see beyond it, you truly see. This is the gift of the wall writer. The Gospel of Sand. The great sin in the world is willful ignorance is willful ignorance of God. To receive a revelation and not spread it to the waiting flock. This place, to stand in the way of salvation, is a sin for which there is no punishment too great. That's where we came from. Jesus. No, we came from. No! Yep, 100%. Hundred. That's what I just loaded to. Oh. Trust. I'm too warm. Ugh. What? Oh. It's just intense, dude. Yes, tell me about it. It's just such an intense game. You're used to games like this, and I'm not. And I've beat this game like four or five times, honestly. <laughs> so it's like... Ground floor. All right, so we got to go down is the objective. Down, down. Maybe uh, push that out of the way, it looks like. Definitely. No, this, you. This thing. Oh, this thing, yeah. yeah. Ooh, new mechanics. New mechanics. Advanced idea mechanics. Platinum Spider Man last night for the second time. Wait, how do you mean? How did you platinum for the second time? I, was, I had been playing for the last like month and a half. Finished it off last night. Wait, but how did you platinum it for the second time? Because the P remaster is a different set of trophies. Oh. Yes. Goaty. Goaty. I know exactly who Venom is, Chet, after replaying it. I know exactly. Can you <laughs> give me a hint? Or can you tell me what your theory is? I don't want to spoil Spider Man 1 for people that are going to catch up. I want to know what your theory yeah, is. Yeah, I know, I know exactly who it is. It's so obvious. And obviously we saw Peter as, with the symbiote as well. You'll rock it for a while, definitely. Fingers first, then balls, then tongue. Mm, okay. Oh. Oh, we have two. 
a feast for flies. I thought this sewer couldn't smell any worse. Hundreds of bodies crammed into a room. Thousands of flies. Is this the priest's way out? Organized torture. The harder I try to escape, the further I get into this god-awful place. Like fighting a tar pit. They've been torturing people in the basement and by method. Written on the wall. Fingers first, then balls, then tongue. Somebody's managing the torture, instructing them. That is fucking PRC hilarious. the recipe for bacon. That is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's really That's good. That's very funny, VRCs. Fingers <laughs> first, then balls. That's vulgar. It's so good. That's where it came from. I would love it, yeah, because uh, cause they have the Miles and MJ stealth sections in the game, you know? And I think replacing those with Peter Parker journalist or MJ journalist, like actually, like, because like MJ, some of the scenes, you know, you take pictures, but it's like so scripted and linear. I don't know. I feel like, yeah, I feel like they can pump that up. What's they can that? pump that up better. What is that? I don't know, dude. Juggernaut. Really? Keep it moving. Keep it fucking moving. Oh my god. You're gonna have to push that out of the way from the door. Yeah. That's gonna be something. What was no, that? No, it's not. Okay. It's a camera. Nice. Why would I want to do that? Because that's the only way to go. The game is like, enter the fear, dude. Enter survival horror. I'm hunching. I'm like trying to protect my vital organs. Oh. Yeah, I like the Miles and MJ parts. I really do. They help. They help flow. I love the Miles and MJ parts. I love parts. it. I love it. The part where you're in Grand Central it. Station. I love it all and you so get, much. You're like on the ceiling. You see Spider-Man like yeah. swing up. Oh, I love best. that part. It's, it's so best. cool. Truly the number one game I'll recommend to any human. Any type of human approaches Michael Huber in the wild and says, They're like, what should I play next? Hey, what should I play? The first thing I will say every single time is Spider-Man. Insomniac it's, Spider-Man. It's so good. And I think it's good for everyone who don't play video games. Really. Everybody. It's yes. so good. Whether you are a seasoned veteran or a brand new beginner, Spider-Man. I did notice a couple things this time around. Oh yeah, I had uh, several glitches in, in yeah. Miles Morales. There were a couple things. Way too many crimes in progress. There's like <laughs> there's like a hundred at the end of the day. There's seriously like a hundred of them. Right, and I'm like, okay, there's a lot of crime in New York, yeah. but at this point, this is offensive. Yeah, the crime's in progress. This is disrespectful. Someone's gonna jump out of these curtains. Get very tiring. There was also, I noticed, I was so micromanaging it. There was a big section of the game where like two hours of the main quest, the pacing is kind of fucked because it goes like stealth, stealth, MJ part stealth, another stealth, Miles Morales stealth, like all these like stealth parts in a row. And then obviously the game like gets, you know, a lot of action, but I was like, yeah, maybe mix one of these up here. Yeah, I also think that Arkham Combat is definitively better than Spider-Man's. Really? Spider-Man gives you so many tools. Uh, oh my god, oh my god. What the fuck? Push that, push that yeah. before they get in here. It's those guys that want to eat my yeah. get balls the hell out. or whatever. Get the hell out. Fucking go! <laughs> Here, here, here. Anywhere, anywhere. Nope, nope. Ah! Oh, there, there, yeah, there. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Another one. Push it, push it. <sighs> Fucking go, you weakling, you weak journalist. Go, 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 open it, open it, open it. Go, 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 Yes! A... Uh, Jesse, is the Arkham... I have a question about that, actually. Is the Arkham Trilogy on Switch the base game, or is it the remastered version? Because those remasters are not ideal. 
But if it's the original trilogy, that's actually a sick get. The game is like, please go so we can stop this insane music. Oh my god! Here? Jump over to the end! Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. I'm trapped. I'm like yeah. stuck behind this man. Yeah. It's not letting me. There it is. Go right. No. Oh, that went nice. You're right. I would have led you to death. Jump! Oh no, there's so much. I think you so far back. Look for pushable objects. You want doors? <laughs> Wait to block doors. Oh. So you can block doors after you. Did exactly that. Oh, slippery little whore. Oh no, oh no. Definitely not. Good music. This game's a master class. And it's so funny because it was like. Yep, there was yep, a corner yep. of the internet that would judge it of like, oh, just some stupid, like. Like, mental asylum shit gets written off, you know? Like, oh, people with just, like, their dicks hanging out, <laughs> mutilating people, you know? I get it. I get it. It's not for everyone. Who's down there? You're not one of them, are you? Quick, get in the dumb waiter if you want to live. Woo! Come with me if you want to live. God damn it! Session 9 <laughs> is the best asylum movie. Watch Session 9. Who's going chase you, buddy? Look at this fucker. Hey, you're that bullshit priest's guy, aren't you? What? <sighs> His witness or whatever. You must be exhausted. No, let's take a break, huh, buddy? You'll do martini lunch. Hmm? Have a little confab. Blah, blah. Cool. Hellier than you look. A little car you wouldn't kill you. Okay, here we go. Arms and legs inside the car at all times. <laughs> I want to see cosplay of this guy. Dude, he's probably so, so cool awesome. Looking. We have to go to The Last of Us for yeah, we, we have, have to. to. We, we have, have to. to. Yeah. If I don't, I will blame you. Why? And not be your friend ever again. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> but we have to go. That is how serious it is, Gabby. We have to go. Take a stroll. Come ahead, I'll here. Come on, run free. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I know, hurry. <laughs> no? Right. Those are the grindstones. I like that. Okay. No, I never Did thought he actually anything? believed that. <laughs> I do think it's deadly serious. Yeah, we have to. Ew! Oh my god, look how long his nails are. <gasps> Manicures. There's gotta be nail clippers somewhere in I this. No, or like also like, bare ass. Full bare, <laughs> veiny bare ass, cracked bare ass. <laughs> Chat. When at what point can you buy tickets for Halloween Horror Nights? I've oh, never been right to Universal now. Studios. Do you know that? Uh, what is it at Knott's or Universal? It's your last of us. It's probably not come any use anyway. Yes. Universal. Yes. Okay. Because he told her he was just trying to look at me on stairs. This guy's rambling, dude. Yeah, I love it. Here we are, then. Remember when Beecher in Oz grew out his nails to slash people? No, but there's a thing, girls... I didn't know any girls like this, but I heard of girls like this. They would grow their nails long and then cut them so they, look, they were, like, sharp so you could fight better. 
good. Honestly smart. Yeah, right? Good weapon. He has like perfectly <laughs> like 2014 tech. You know, even, I'm a um, bit worried how much start. time you've been spending with Father Martin. I, I know. I hope you haven't been letting him confuse you with all this holier than thou Bible for you, like, thing. Old. Yes, uh, it's great. No offense to the man, but I sometimes worry he might just be a little bit crazy. It's understandable. Maybe people get scared. They're as like to turn to God as anything else. You know, <gasps> God died with the gold standard. We're on to a more concrete faith now. You have to rob Paul to pay Peter. There's no other way. Ew. Murder in it is the simplest form, but what happens when all money is gone? Well, money becomes a matter of faith. And that's what I'm here for. Make you believe. You paying attention? Oh! Don't pass that on me. There's still a lot for you to absorb. Better, right? Here's an HEQ. We made the consumer into the means of production. This thing is gonna sell itself. <laughs> Two fingers gone. This is like the scene in Get Out. Fuck oh, yeah. One of the greatest movies ever made. I agree. Get out! Get out! Oh. It makes sense. I swear, I, I like... There's something about this. Maybe just because it was with Bossman, right? So I'm like a little triggered. Like Bossman always talks shit on... And, and like, it's not just Bossman. People talk shit on like... Grotesque asylum type horror. Well, I think there's grotesque yeah. for grotesque's sake, mm -hmm. and then there's grotesque, there's meaningful grotesqueness. Yeah. Meaningful grotesqueness. And I think. <laughs> meaningful grotesqueness, Chad. Yes. Um, and I think. I would say not all of this is like meaningful grotesqueness, but I think. I, I don't find it like overly. Well, no, it is overly grotesque, but I don't yeah. find it, like, needlessly grotesque. Yeah. So far, been quite singularly obsessed with like cutting dicks and balls off. You know? Yeah. Whoa. Like the last one, they tried to cut your own dick, oh, like your yeah. your dick and balls off. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Trying to trigger the male players. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Yeah. I, that's probably it. Like that's yeah, that's horrible for anyone who has a dick. <laughs> We're looking for a key, dude. Yeah. Cool. All these doors are locked. Here we go. Can you come good. from here? Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, you did. There's your vomit. Maybe he has a key? Gabby, have you played Resident Evil? 
I played it with you. Four. I played four with you. We oh, watched yeah. you play it. I guess I was gonna say play Evil Within one of these days. For this? Yeah, but if you haven't played... You need to play Resident Evil to play Evil Within? I would say play Resident Evil first. Wait, that's an... But you have to? No, 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 no. no. Ooh, okay. Time is always a fact. <laughs> So this, this, there was a very, there was a part of a Outlast, whatever that was exactly like this, like running through a fucking maze, and we could not figure out where to go. Him brandishing Shears. his knife. Yeah, yeah. I hear <laughs> <Well, she laughs> Don't even trip. Don't even trip, dude. I will outrun your ass. I will kite you to hell. That's locked. So oh god. It was up. <laughs> it was up. Oh. oh! I don't know where the Nick fuck. Yet. Nipped you on your way up. Seriously. Slashed our Achilles. Your Achilles. Yeah. There was a, um, the first Harry Potter computer game. I never finished it because Voldemort was too hard to beat. But there was a part where you were sneaking through the library and if you jumped over a uh, Filch. Yeah. On the, on the, um, Finch. Finch? Finch? No, Filch. Finch. I think. Filch? My knowledge of Harry Potter is like nearly zero. Is it Filch? I think it's Filch. Okay. With the cat. I believe you. If you jumped over him while well, he was like walking around the library looking for you. Yeah. Um, and you're jumping from like bookcase to bookcase, he could reach up and grab your ankle. That's insane. It was all getting terrified. <laughs> Filch, yeah. Filch. And when I, I'm telling you. We're just looking for a fucking key here, dude. This is insane. Oh my god. Fucking boss fight, dude. <laughs> I just don't know where to go. You can't go up the thing that you did before? Yeah, let's try that. You're, you're trying to, I mean, where the fuck oh, is Oh yeah, right that? here, oh, right yeah, here. Yeah. This is good. It's not a key card, that thing landed, it, like, it's, it looks exactly like a key card. Oh, it's a playing card. Let me sell you this ah! key card! Playing card, fuck this. That was my fault. All good, all good. I need you to be working! Oh my god. Can we turn around, can you see him? <laughs> can jump up and stab you. Yeah. <laughs> Documents from David Annapurna. Annapurna, dude, it's a nod. <laughs> Do you have any concern? This is my third time asking for a reassignment after two months without an answer. 
I don't want to work at Mount Massive anymore. I have been an orderly my entire adult life, but I've never experienced such a consistent level of secrecy and disrespect. I even have suspicions that some of the patients may be being abused. I know personally of two of them who have been moved to the basement ward and never returned. If I don't get an answer to this email, I will be forced to resign and may very well consider contacting the press. Thanks for your time, Yikes. David Annapurna. Annapurna's not going to make it. No, he's out of here. The cross above the door. Number two is heavy on the crosses. It's like it's, the Isn't theme. it a cult? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely the theme of the game is religion. Oh my god. Really? Where's that coming from? Right there. Going full shining. Fuck. What? Oh and we my go. god. We go. Video game that shit, fucker. Uh. I don't remember where we. Maybe that's where I don't remember where we used the key. It's in another area, remember? Because you had to climb over to get here. So I think you can push that thing out of the way. Because you probably couldn't open that door before. <laughs> get juked! Get juked! Get juked, bro! He lost you. Oh, and he found you again. Nice. Nice. Shit. Go through here? Yep. Yeah. Go through here. You think there's a door behind you? Oh, no! Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus! Goddamn doors. Yeah, push this thing. And then open that door. Oh, your hands are so gross. Mm, it's right yay! Here. <laughs> um, what's the scariest movie you've watched? Oh my god! How did he do that? How did he do that? Maniac. Different guy? Yeah. Uh, Cairo is one of the scariest movies I've ever seen. Cairo? It's Japanese for pulse. Oh, oh. There's an Not American remake called I, uh, Pulse, and it's terrible. The original's terrifying as fuck. I would say maybe It Follows. It Follows is good, yeah. Hereditary. Yeah, that's Some good. Some ones that are like Midsummer. Yeah. Really, really It's Mario Aster shit? Yeah. Oh. I would say Cairo and Possum. Awesome. Oh, oh, yeah, fuck. I watched the entirety of Hereditary like this. <laughs> That's one of my all-time favorites. Also, so I think I like it too much to be scared. Like Hereditary. Hereditary is just a masterclass. Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah. But it like it's just there's so much dread. Yeah. It's one of my all-timers. What am I supposed to? Well, it was in the theater. <laughs> oh, if something is too scary, I just don't watch it. If something's too scary, just don't watch it. <laughs> yeah, the whaling as well. Top tier. Is the whaling Japanese or Korean? Korean. Um, Parasite? One of my favorite directors ever. Sorry. That's okay. Parasite isn't a horror movie, but I do think it has one of the scariest shots of any movie, like, ever. Yeah. Um, I don't want to spoil it. Good movie. But it has, do you know what I'm talking about? What yeah, shot I'm talking about? This sure. one? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Up or down? Up or down? Great, but we're trying, down is the objective. That's true. So, go so up. maybe there's... Yeah, battery up here, some yeah. shit. Nope. Well. You 
good. Yeah. <laughs> Battery. Nice. We're like rotten with batteries. Yeah, like, we are. Kind of. <laughs> Too many batteries. Patrick Petrina. Not Patrick Wilson. <laughs> I mean, before it was overplayed, The Conjuring was one of the scariest movies ever. The first one, truly. Overplayed? What do you mean? Well, now it's a MCU. It, oh, it's like... Now it's a fucking MCU franchise. There's like nine of them. I see. If you count all the Annabelles and the Nuns and the Conjurings. Those are all Conjuring? Yeah. Spinoffs? Yep. They're all in the same universe. Did you see, um... What's the one with Bill Skarsgård? It. No. Not is it. <laughs> one of the best. That is one of the scariest to me for sure. Is it the one. remake? Yep, it won. But what's the one where he goes? Oh, The Grudge. Yeah, that was one of the first like real modern horror movies I watched. The Grudge is great. Um, remake or Barbarian? Barbarian. Did you see that? I haven't watched that yet. Barbarian, not the Barbarian. Yeah. Um, parts of it I thought were really good. And parts of it I was disappointed by. Worried, worried, worried. I thought Justin Long's performance is so good. I adore him. It's hard to make modern horror good. God, you We're too aware of everything, chat. Society is like way too aware of everything. Huh? Society is too tapped into everything. It's harder to scare people nowadays. That's true. But you know what was really smart about Barbarian? Hmm. They use Bill Skarsgård. Uh, you told me this. I did? Typecast. Yes. Yep. To, scare, to scare you. They yep. use like the meta narrative to scare yeah, you. Which is very like Hitchcockian. Yeah. Like Hitchcock yeah, yeah. purposely hired people that people, like that you already had yeah. opinions about. People that are like, yeah, like yeah. Christopher Walken yes. vibes or something. Like, like just that. meta opinion. It's so, totally. it's so good. So brilliant. Totally. <sighs> Hostile? No. That really scared me. I don't want to find Father Martin. Hustle's fine. Blair Witch! One of the scariest of all time, no question. Never seen it. Oh my god. It is fucking terrifying. Blair Witch Project, dude. Straight up. Credit where credit's due. Blair Witch is one of the fucking scariest. Well, it was like the first to do yeah. that. I think I'm supposed to go in here. Um, Blair Witch 1, for sure. Watch Blair Witch alone at night in your house with all the lights off. You will be scared. You will be fucking scared, dude. Chad, if you like horror, you should listen to Radio Rental. It's true horror stories told by the people that... Love true horror stories? That uh, experience them. And it's just so well produced. Um... Where are you going? Oh, we've been in the soccer room. I never, ever. Gabby, what would you do if you found out the place you lived was the scene of a gruesome crime? Then that made it haunted. That then made it haunted. Here's the thing. I don't ever in my life want to see a ghost. I have no, I, who's to say if ghosts are real? I don't care because I don't want to see a ghost. No. No desire. Absolutely no desire. And people describe seeing ghosts... <laughs> and people describe seeing ghosts as like... You know, I knew it was something... Like, I knew something was there, and like, I, I pictured it in my mind, all this shit. I don't care. I... I... Never... Want to be witness to something scary. Ever. There's one right behind you. <laughs> 
There has to be a ghost you'd want to see. No! <laughs> I'm glad the consensus is. The consensus is. Wait, uh, 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 mods, can you put up a poll? Do you want to see a ghost? I want to know how people feel. Are are you are you too scared? I'm asking chat. Someone asked me if how I would feel if I was in. I found out somewhere I was staying was haunted. Yeah. And I said I have no desire to ever see a ghost. No desire. I'm literally, just, yeah, I do not want to see a ghost. Yeah. Where's that pole? <laughs> I would love to see a ghost. And you've never seen one? No, but I thought like supernatural encounters for sure. Mm. Like unexplained shit. Like what? Just keep playing, dude, I'll tell okay. you. <laughs> We were playing hide and seek one time. We were young. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was in the living room. And. This is of your house? No, it's my friend's house. Who, by the way, always said. From Trigger! Annapurna, Mr. Walsh, please accept the immediate resignation of orderly 531920 David Annapurna and process him as a patient of Mount Massive to treat his. Persecutorial, de persecutorial delusions. Treatment should continue until the time of his death. Whoa. Thanks, buddy. Rick Trigger. Whoa. Uh, my friend always said his house was haunted. He said he would hear, like, scratching and shit in the attic. Oh, God. I mean, that could have been squirrels. One time he literally heard, like, a witch's voice say, Got one. What? Yeah, right? Okay, so crazy shit. <laughs> we came through here and... I remember this spot. Sick. Good. So we're playing hide and seek at night, dude. Sleepover. But you're playing it inside the house, right? Inside, inside. Yeah. It's murder in the dark. Hide and hide and go seek in the house at night. So I'm hiding and I feel that this like cold fucking chill and just like this sinister vibe, this sinister energy, and like a vertical light goes like across the whole room. There's nowhere the light could have come from, dude. There's no outside, no, like, nowhere it could have come from. It goes And then like right at it, right as it does out like a second later, the entire cable box and VCR falls down. What? Like, like and immediately I was like, yo, everyone stop. We're not fucking around. Everyone stop. Game's over. Game's done. Was anyone over here? No one's over here? No one did this? Whoa. Yeah. yeah. That's really scary. Yeah, it was sick. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite supernatural story that I've been involved with. Unexplainable. It's probably something. Coincidence, dude. Some light. Trick of the light. Something. But it was cool. Shit. I'm feeling I'm. <sighs> oh no! Oh. Can't get back up there, can I? Shit. Damn, it's terrifying, Outer. Wait, read it to me. They were in a theater and they felt like people around them and there was like shapes that bent down and then they left the theater. What yeah. are you talking about? Yeah, so scary. Oh. All of it. This guy's ready to go. Murkoff took so much from us. Used us. Turned us into these things because nobody cares about a few forgotten lunatics. So let it burn. Burn the whole goddamn thing down. You were going the right way. Hmm? You were going the right way. Left. You are Over there. Jesus Christ. Max pain vibes. Go. Let it, it burn. burn. I'm not the only victim here, not by a long shot. I watched a man wait to burn to death. The most painful death imaginable rather than stay in this place. That's what they say. 
Burning what? alive, worst way to go possible. But don't you... They say it's the absolute worst. No question. Really? Everyone says it, no matter what, worst way to go is burning. 100%. 100%. Everyone says, I'm obsessed with death. Burning alive. Did you look up a... Uh... I heard drowning can be peaceful if you let it happen, that's the thing. Drowning can be terrible if you're panicking yeah. and fighting it, if you let it. But, uh, you have to be pretty conscious. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They know because burn victims survive right. and the pain, they measure pain. They measure that shit. That's the thing about burn, it, like, uh, you will pass out from the smoke first before you, like, not before you feel any real pain, but, like... Yeah. Witch trials, dude. Gotta stream murdered soul suspect, chat. Witch trials? Salem witch trials, dude. Burning oh, just people? just in general? Just burning them alive? Um, really scary, um, burning scene in, uh, Underground Railroad. The first episode of Underground Railroad. Damn. Really, really graphic. I bet. Yeah. That's horrible. Too much content, dude. I always want to watch that. Barry Jenkins. It's, um... I loved the book, and I watched the first episode, and it was, like, too intense, and I couldn't watch the rest of it. And I, like, I'm not sensitive to yeah. that kind of shit. Yeah. If you're seeing things, say something. There's no shame in psycho... Pathological. Pathological proximity stress disorder. Talk to your supervisor to get help from a Murkoff success counselor. Wait. I've been here. I was chased around this room. Good shit. I'm surprised how much I recognize. Yeah, dude. It's I think mostly the places where I spent a lot of time being chased are the yeah. ones I remember. Th that trauma. Outlast, dude. Reuse the assets. <laughs> Straight up. Not a huge studio, Red Barrels. <laughs> Chat, any word on when Outlast Trail is? We'll be out of early access. Usually they stay on this, stay on the Steam page. Like I wanted to play that 8-bit battle bit remastered fucking Battlefield game, but it just came out. Just came out on early access, and they said two years uh -oh. of early. A that was a waste of a battery. Damn, harsh, brutal. <laughs> it's fine, dude. You're fine. I slipped and I hit you're the triangle button. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Just ribbing you. You're good. Why do they let you do that? That's stupid. To fuck with you, dude. To stress you out. The more stressed you are, the more mistakes you make, the happier the devs are. Okay, here's a sprinkler. I feel like I'm gonna have to run. What? What? You did not seem pleased about that. I don't need to get annoyed. You're just like... Annoyed, I just know we're about to be chased. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shit. Oh. I haven't played shit, you sent it. Worst year of my gaming career is this year. I've not played a goddamn fucking thing. I'm happy though. I'm happy, chat. So 
So that that matters more than my gaming intake, I guess. That's new. It is new. Okay. <laughs> Where does freak come come from, dude? There we go. We think we're doing a full playthrough of this today. I don't know. We're making, we're doing pretty well. Keep it going. Okay. We're doing well. Haven't been stuck on many parts yet, you know. Ooh, Look wow. at that, dude! Right outside. Yeah. That's us. I would we trust this man. Ultra program CIA general problem for this past several months Bluebird has been endeavor endeavoring to ascertain by research study instruction and some practice what value if any can be derived from sleep induction and hypnotic techniques when applied to war 
and specific agency problems. Can we create by post H control and action contrary to an individual's basic moral principles? Can we guarantee total amnesia under any and all conditions? Can we alter a person's personality? How long will it hold? What are the full details of a sleep-inducing machine? Dude, fucking Manchurian Candidate. Love those movies. Original and remake. How far into the game do we think we are? Probably a third, maybe? Possibly. Maybe more. What is that document in the corner, bro? What? That's a computer. Oh, shit. <laughs> So we're about to get fucked. Love going outside in this game, dude. Mm. <laughs> this is printing. Where's my fucking car? So awesome. Shit is so sick. What a great time for this, too. We've been all claustrophobic inside. The lightning, dude. Can't see shit. Nice, fine. I don't know what that's for, but maintenance shed. Whoa, whoa, huh? God, it's incredible visuals, dude. So well done. Master class. That's where it came from, right? Follow away. This is where I was. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't think oh, so. Oh, it's not. It's just another hanging lamp. <laughs> this is a different hanging lamp. <laughs> oh. How alive are you? I don't even know your name, but I've come to think of you as some as one of my blood. My Paul, I hope you don't mind, and I hope you don't indulge the vanity of self-pity, the fear that your suffering is more than others. We all must endure this, and you are nearly done. There's no way to heaven but by the cross, and every man needs another to help drive the nails in. I am here for you. I am waiting ahead. Some Dementor. I'm oh. just breathing. I'm just normally breathing. It's a literal ghost. God help me, I think I've seen the wall rider. Should I check out the other way, see if there's a battery? Everywhere. Sometimes when Huber goes like, that means something's about to happen. 
No, I would never give it away because I like when you jump scare. I'm gonna give you a million bucks, Gabby. Would you stay at a haunted location? A million bucks? Yeah. Yes. Would you do it for ten thousand dollars cash? Probably. All the same. Chad, I would do it for free. Do it for free? Yeah, dude. As long as they're paying paying for the <laughs> way to. The, the hotel get to room? the place, get to the haunted place, I would do it. <laughs> I'm all about that shit. Haunted places? Yeah, it's fun. It's not fun. I just, I don't want to see a ghost. It would just like, forever change me in a way that I am not interested in, you know? Yeah. Would you rather see a demon? No! Not <laughs> all! That's probably worse. Cause, Dude, way worse. Because ghosts can be... Friendly! Benevolent. Yeah! But demons are inherently evil. If demons exist. <laughs> oh! Super Mega Baseball, it's a fun ass game that I would like to play more of. But there are too many games. So I have no oh, shit. I can see his ghost. Came up from it? No. I don't think so. Because there's a spot to go on your right. There Down there. That way. Oh. Wait. 
this is where it came up? Maybe not. I don't, I don't think so. There's also a couple other ways this Another dude jerking off? Maybe. Next fine. You s wait, I just remembered something. You said there's there is a jump scare in this game where you pick up a battery or a document and the guy jumps at you. Really? Yeah. I don't remember. Seriously, I'm not even trolling. Out here, man. Yeah. Ah! Ow! <laughs> Your knees crunching. <laughs> Why does this not feel right? So you haven't been here. So fucking turn around. Someone's pulling the water, I can smell it, like putting a penny in your mouth when you were a kid. The whispers are making more sense. I'm looking for static. It's like an itch. Anyone that doesn't kill you immediately is your friend, I feel like.
weeks left, feeling good about it. Hmm. Oh, my skin. I love you. That was good. Whoa, I didn't see it. Something like was running above us. Oh. Do, 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 do. Dust coming down from the floor. I'm fucking all turned around. Upstairs, upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yep. Get that document. Brief introduction for Wall Rider Mythology for MRD support staff, the Merkov Corps. This is for support notational purposes only. Engage in NO direct contact with patients during or after therapy. The Wall Rider, also known as Alp or Mara or Shrat, is a demonic creature of German origin that torments sleepers. Mm. They crouch on a sleeper's chest. That's Citizen real world lore. Sleepers. That's real lore, dude. The demon that sits on your chest. Isn't that the like old hag syndrome or whatever? They crouch on a sleeper's chest and crush the breath from him. A sleeper wakes terrified, paralyzed, and asphyxiating. The name Mara gives us the word nightmare. Sexual Ooh. assaults by the demon are rare, but it has been known to drink Ooh. milk from the breasts of sleeping women and blood from the nipples of sleeping Ew. men. Jesus. That can't be right, right? Yeah. Fuck, <laughs> well, you thought we found it. Yeah, yeah. But there was a. I don't know, it loops around. Oh. Two batteries. Two, so generous. Wait, wait, keep going, keep going. Oh, or not. Sorry, that was my fault. There's a battery right there. It was? It was, yes, nice. 
driving. Okay. There it is, there it is. Dude. I'll last two chat. I'll last two shit. Anywhere to hide in this room? Under the bed? Hold. Yeah, I think Abby would like condemned because you get a fucking lead pipe and you get to bash him back. Abby, like. It's really cool, you're a detective, so you go into a murder scene and like examine the crime scene. You always go way before you should. Because we are invincible, bro. Sekiro, this is not, dude. <laughs> what do you mean we are invincible? Taking the hits to make the play. <laughs> I don't know what this key is for. For that? Oh, okay. Did you get it? No. Can we, like... So it went down. But now... We just bounce? Yeah, I think we just bounce. But you want the key. Yeah, I think there's another radio. I love that you don't even examine where it's where it's coming <laughs> Or what's chasing you, you're just like, yep. Just run. The stairs, 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 that way. The stairs. Yeah, just all the way down, I guess? Well, you need to get the key. Yeah, it went down. Down again? Yeah, okay. We're really? Coming. Key went down, we're going. Blair Witch, it's a nod. Project Paperclip, joint and Project Paperclip! That's some real world shit. Really? Some Nazi shit. Joint Intelligence Objectives Agency, document number 8 of 186. Um, Nazi War Crimes Disclosure Act. It's about if folding them into the U.S. intelligence. About what? It's about folding Nazi, like old Nazis into the U.S. intelligence. Learning about that shit. Whoa. The first paperclip provides the first paperclip provides a means of obtaining services of foreign specialists for specific assignments within the technical services of the departments of Army, Navy, and Air Force. Project 63 is primarily a denial program with utilization as a desirable feature. The aim of this program is to secure employment in the United States of certain preeminent German and Austrian specialists, thus denying their services to potential enemies. Ah, uh, okay. So for protection, kind of. They serve as spies? Yeah, it's fucked up. Controversial. Fucked up. Yeah, I imagine so. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I was curious. <laughs> I was super curious. <laughs> okay. We got that down. Are you sure we don't have the key? Yeah, it dropped down, so we have to go down. 100%. Hundo P. Stairs are on the right. There's a sign, see? Yeah, yeah. Down. And you're sure it went all the way to the basement? No. Be this floor. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe. Laundry, laundry, laundry. Laundry, dude, that's gotta be good. Uh, laundry room. So you're looking for. Oh, Jesus Christ. Looking for the dumb waiter. Oh! Rude. Ow. 
Up the stairs? Fuck! I think it's just up the stairs. Because you can jump that gap and he probably can't. <laughs> Because what's his face said, go to the top floor to get there it is. down. Yeah, there you go. Thanks for the sub, Nimbat. Turn ten batteries. Do you prefer audio logs or like reading? A healthy mix. All about a mix. Nice, it's telling you where to go. Yeah. Right. I thought it was a box of bullets or something. <laughs> yeah. There's been a few times where I saw something that looked like you should be able to pick it up, but you can't. Jesus. <gasps> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. No, that's definitely closed. business. <laughs> Whatever they were up to. Fuck. This one came for a minute. No. No? Are you sure? Yeah. 100%. <gasps> That's where we came from. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> lies. Lies. I recognize the handwriting. Father Martin killed a man here. Are the lies he's talking about all the files missing from these boxes? The facts? The records? They look like government agency material, at least 30 years old, probably older. I start thinking MK Ultra, CIA, mind control. The buzzing won't stop. You sure they're gone? And we're going for it. See you later, bro. <laughs> I don't think I saw you. I'm slippery. Slippery when wet. <laughs> they were in here, yeah? Okay, we haven't seen this. Is exhausting. Yeah. 
My God. <laughs> Your camera. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Classic, dude. Take away your resource. Oh. Take away your resource. Oh. No camera. Huh. Sounds just pitch black. Yep. Can you just jump down there? Did it fall down into one of those cracks? Yeah, it went down the floor. Andre joke, uh, third right? Bird up. Oh my god. How cool is it, dude? Our camera's cracked. Good details. Appreciate how much you're playing of this. Ah! Yeah. ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's a drop. Is it just back? I did see stairs at one point. Yeah? Okay. I go through here, go through here. Take a left. Take a oh, yeah, no, those are the stairs. Maybe not. <laughs> Process of elimination. Oh, oh. jump. Jump, jump, jump. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jump, jump, jump. There we go. That away. That away. Four. 
for some stairs. It was that part that was too dark to go through. Give to go up. Climb up one more. Uh oh. <laughs> Did we break it? You tried to break it. <laughs> okay. No, uh. Oh, this. Yeah, you have yeah, to jump okay. up there. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yep, yep. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Have a good night, Lou, bro. Good night. Me. <laughs> oh, damn it. Sometimes you can make those and sometimes you can't. It's a little inconsistent. Remember? Because it collapsed. I don't know if we can make this. I don't think you can, but turn around. It's no, there's nothing over there. No. Uh, I don't know if we can make can't this. Do that. Let's try one more time. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Because it collapsed. Yeah, it's way too. Maybe that bed has something to do with it? No. No, that doesn't make sense. Huh. And if you go to that go. other room you were looking at, oh, Got it. <laughs> <laughs> we're overthinking it. Yeah. I hate Father Martin. There's always my way out. There's always my way out. Administrative area, it looks like. I'm actually nauseous for anxiety. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> you do too. Gabby is tortured, chat. Punished Gabby. Dead end. Oh. I feel like the only difference between when Huber plays and when I play is that if Huber's playing, I have the same amount of scared, but I'm also having fun. <laughs> When I'm playing, I am not. Oh. What was down that other way? Never know. The lobby. Yes, our arms must tell you the key to the house of God is in the theater, behind the light. In the theater, behind the light. You have to see the movie, so that's where I left the card. Okay? Friends! Children! Peter? I need your help. Rick Hall. Where are you? Yes, coming! I'm coming! Why does 
can Dr. Mer or Father Martin just wait for us? Exactly. Recall sense. Oh, a pool. Play around. Wait, I think there was a battery at the TV. ever want to do like like voice a, a zombie or a like a freako in a game hell yeah that'd be so fun i'm not uh a professional by any means so i haven't really thought about it but i'd always be down for sure guy there before, right? Cult across. There was a, right? I don't know. <gasps> Jesus. Uh, exit interview. He said you have to watch the movie. 27th, 1985 in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Clearance here right. on Alpha. It's Subject, Dr. Lugal Bernicke. Something with this game. It's not good. Not. <laughs> it's just strange. It's like a beige flag for this game. Why is every phone off the hook? Yeah. Oh, wash those hands regular. Oh, flesh-eating bacteria. Wash those hands regularly. On September 19, 2013, at 4:19 a.m., Grant G. Williard, whatever, wrote. Necrotizing fasciitis. Really? I fucking quit. The broken camera is such a nice touch. It's really cool. Locked you out? Upside down. Red Dead. That's a good one. Red Dead Dose.
Find Father and Mark. So I assume we just backtrack to the elevator or something. Right chat? That makes sense, right? That's not good. Stressful game. I like when Gabby plays because she goes slower and not as jerky. I am in, in like imposing speed speed running strats, chat for sure. I sprint everywhere. I feel like that's the RP, dude. I would be like. A, st a, a steady mix of like creeping and crawling and also sprinting. A combination. Hope you're having a good night chat wherever you may be. Quietly find an exit point following a full throttle dash. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> Sprint the hell out of here. Yeah, Gabby bounced. Straight up gone. Massive score for you guys! That's why I play Rogue Lacey 2 and I can't get enough. One of the greats. Truly. One of my favorites ever. It's an all timer for me. Did I miss anything important? Got the key and open the door, that's it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <It's not coming. laughs> there was a barely eating anything to them. Boom. Jesse said, uh, like, when you play, because it's slower and not as jerky. So you can play the rest. No, I don't. Yeah. You don't count on it. I go too fast. Why? Fuck. Is that a <laughs> I'm roll, sitting on a roll of the toilet paper. <laughs> surgery. Get the tags off. Yeah, well, you cut that off? Yeah, fuck yeah. We have four of these, dude. Okay. It's a terrible cut, though. Yeah. Just to uh, use the seam repair. Better. Take us away, Gabby. How much longer do we have in the game? Four hours, probably. I'm gonna guess. Are we finishing this game tonight? Maybe, I don't know. Dude, I feel like we're making good time, man. My speedrun strats. 
sprinting through with my jerky camera. <laughs> Alright, do the weather take a knee there. I wanna see it. I wanna see it. Tense. Back in the day, dude. B and D. B and the D. <laughs> Is that what you just said? Yeah. B and the D, bro. The Not D. massive. Nope. Oh, okay, you just close the door. Okay. These people don't want me to succeed. No, they do not. Is the Spencer Mansion the number one most iconic video game location? Maybe. Like, what could it be? What the hell could it be other than that? Where am I going? Third floor. You're on the third floor. Am I floor. on the third floor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mushroom Kingdom is pretty good. Oh yeah, I think it's gotta be Mushroom Kingdom. Before, Mushroom Kingdom. Before pretty, Spencer Mansion. Yeah. Yeah, I'd give it up. I'd give it up to the Mushroom Kingdom. Peach's Castle. Which Mushroom's Kingdom, though? Or Mushroom Kingdom? Just in general. Just period. The Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green Hill Zone. I'd take Spencer Mansion over Green Hill Zone. Cola, drink it. <laughs> That's good. That's Did good you see thing. all the fake brands in, um, uh, Pikmin? No, I haven't seen any of that stuff. So. Oh, yeah. There used to be, so I guess in the first two uh, Pikmin's, um, there were a bunch of real brands, um, unlike the, the tiny stuff, or the, you know, you're tiny or whatever, so you're walking by, you know, big stuff. Yeah. Um, and it was like, you know, Coca-Cola. Mm. Um, so they made fake brands because they couldn't relicense all this stuff. That's fun. Um, and it's very funny. That's fun. What's your battery, bro? You like this, Jesse? Is this easier to watch? <laughs> I did not see the direct. I was literally living in a Las Vegas casino for like a week. Time did not exist for that week. No clocks on the yep. casino floor. Just non-stop gambling. Non-stop gamble. Gamble, gamble, gamble. Gambling and gambling. Right? Gam, gam what? Gambling. G-A-M-B-O-L. What is that? Like frolicking. Oh. Yeah, it's funny shit. Save the battery here. Is plenty of light. Thanks. Okay. Mm. <sighs> you think I'm supposed to go in there, probably, right? No, but when we stop to El Cortez outer. Uh, because it's such a legendary spot and they have single deck blackjack, which is extremely easy for card counters to count, uh, they threw a guy out right at our table. They threw a guy out. He's like, what do you mean I can't count cards? Like, How do they know you're counting cards? They just, they watch you. They know. They know. They, they watch your bets. Uh, you don't know me. I have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software. Oh, this was our thing. The whistleblower, just another copy of it. It means they found it. What? Yeah. Where are we? Oh wait, that's the old one. Oh. I'm dumb. Oh yeah, there we there we go. 
Diary of Shirley Pierce, Mount Massive Mental Hospital patient. How can I not remember where the cuts are coming from? They hurt so deeply even days later. Dr. Newhouse tells me that it's my fault. I'm subconsciously resisting the hypnotherapy. But I want so much to get better, I don't know how I could be doing this to myself. Dr. Newhouse says it's another condition of my bedroom inspired hysteria. Poor Bruce, I make him suffer so. I've tried subtly to ask Mrs. Jackson if she's had similar issues with her husband, but she is loath to talk about it. Her husband, too, has found comfort in a younger woman. I know the doctors only mean well, and with the help of the government men who've joined the staff, I am in the very best hands possible. I should just take my pills and sleep and hope for more pleasant dreams tonight. Apparently the fastest speed run of this without glitches was 50 minutes. Ooh. I want to see it with glitches too. Like, can you glitch to the en ending bits? Yeah, probably. I don't want to do this. Oh. Every phone off the hook. Yeah. This guy's gonna jump at me. Just, just bounce before he can. Like, lingering there is the worst idea. That's why I sprint everywhere. Because I'm sprinting, they can't fuck with me, but if I'm like, slowly, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, blah. Whereas, fucking sprint that shit. You're not getting me. Would that plan work in real life, you think? Just, Just sprint by everyone? <laughs> Full sprint everywhere? I cannot count cards, no. Not even close. <laughs> In fact, the biggest hole in my poker game is the math. Wait. There's a lot of guys. Is your battery in here? Gives them some privacy. an open window. It seems like the right way to go. Also burning that battery. Everyone's just Yeah, my poker face is good. I just look really fucking depressed all the time when I play. It's normal. Normal state. Swordfish, I'm watching Old Attitude or shit. I'm on, I just finished Royal Rumble 2000. I assume we can't go past this guy. No, he'll push you back. And uh, there was a guy in the, in the crowd with a sign that said Limp Biscuit. 
and Undertaker has yet to debut as the American Badass dude. That guy is gonna be so stoked. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know how stoked he's gonna be. My job. You alone shall escape it, Alpha. This is an Outlast 2 this shit. Is the ultimate act of witness. The promise of the prophets was always freedom from death. And, and here it is. You will watch my resurrection. And together we will be free. You are no longer in any danger. I fixed the elevator. It will take you to freedom. We will all of us be free. Now, my son. Like Timberland's Batman. <laughs> There's still that big fucker. I haven't seen him in a minute. I don't no, we're not. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Yep. Just gotta find the elevator, dude. That's our goal. Don't. Have no clue where it is. Same. But... Same. Nice, okay. use this room to loop them around. Yep, we'll oh, come that shit. way and then we just go around. Perfect. This way? This yep, way? Yep, that way. <laughs> run, 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 sorry, run, sorry, run. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Run, 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 run. There you go, there you go. Alright, now I don't know where to go, though. Yeah, that's the problem. There you go, that uh, no. way, yeah. Right, right. Right? Yeah. I came from right. Rolling, 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 rolling. rolling and why does it seem like you, when you sprint, it's faster than when I sprint? Um, I have, I have cheat codes. Okay. Yeah. Good night, Jesse. That's it, that's it. Oh, yeah. Jesus! <laughs> Why is it, like, it knows what yeah. you want to do. That's so annoying. Older game and low budget. I know, I know. <laughs> but yeah. Key to the elevator, dude. That's us. I'm about to be get fucked. Okay, do we know when Outlast Trials is out of early access? Can you look that up, please? Go to the Steam page, go down to the early access portion. How long will this game be in early access? Tell me what that <laughs> says, please. Why did we go past the... Sketchy. Sinister survives here. Find another way out. What up, Antarctica? Go, go. What up, the thing? Whoa! Wait! Umbrella core, dude. We've been here. We've cut. Yeah, you remember this whistleblower shit? Yeah. It all Roll depends. Roll us release the full version as soon as we can, before yeah. the end of the year, if we can. Thank you. Sweet. I'll be patiently waiting. BR Spies? Is it BR Spies or BR Spies? 
word on the street is spies because we said spies for too oh, long. Oh, okay. It's the word around the campfire. Spies, okay. Wesker at? Where's Birkin? Yo, give me these lab Duck documents, is. dude. Those are the ones I want to read. Project Wall Rider Postmortem Preparatory Report. Form note All material herein to be transcribed and revised to fit legally binding requirements of Murkoff Corp records. Okay, interesting. Author Jennifer Rowland notes My 14th autopsy of a Wall Rider patient, showing no more signs of accepting the therapy than any of the others. There have been slight gains in cell migration and morphogenesis or genesis, including effects similar to human growth hormone, but nothing to suggest the stable creation of a sentient independent swarm. To, uh, so tired, doubting my judgment. We'll submit another request for leave. The psychological cost of using such far gone and for, of using such far gone and further provoked patients is more than I feel I can handle. May suggest hanging less hope on the far-flung theories of a senile Nazi and move towards using a simpler mechanical engine based on major sperm protein. Will definitely suggest harsher chemical restraints. Murkoff security killed patient 921 after he overcame enough tranquilizers to put down a hockey team. I'm afraid the hormone therapy is interacting with our chemical restraints in a counterproductive manner. Whoa. Just exploded. He just exploded. Yeah. Oh my god. His, his guts are like perfectly placed. <laughs> so good. This part of the game looks so different. Yeah, love it. Like, if you showed me this, I would say, oh, that's a totally different game. Oh my god. Wait, wait. <laughs> Nothing. That's bloody footprints. Too. Those are ours. Ooh, that's um next gen. <laughs> Seriously. Oh. Crash? Hopefully it's saved. Oh or else we're done. <laughs> Out crash, Rod Admit says. <laughs> Continue. Please. Where's it gonna put us? From the top, says <laughs> Drake. From the top. No fucking way. Oh, generous. It knows. Bye. Bye. I'm just trying to get the fuck away from this. Oh. There's nowhere to go. Are you switching it? 
Just eviscerating bodies. That's a good one. That, that was a trophy. Oh. This, this is the way you die. Ripped to pieces from the inside. Watching your marrow scatter on a concrete wall. You've escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help me, but I somehow hope you didn't find another. Guy. I guess it's still locked, actually, but I'm just checking. Bronze is my favorite though, because I'm weird. They say bronze medal winners are happier than silver medal winners. I must try to explain. I know, I, I know. I am supposed to be dead. No, no, it's gotta be in that Nazi. last trials. Nazi. I know all that I say, but somehow the only one left. What's that mean? Or, um, I'm his father. Prometheus, Prometheus or Prometheus, yeah, I should say. Listening to this man's evil monologue. <laughs> Billy? Oh, that's the big guy? No. Someone else. It might be the is the whistleblower Billy chat? Or no? Could be someone separate. Um, I love the idea of someone giving their like evil villain monologue, and you're just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not paying attention at all. He's like practiced this for days, waiting for you to go down here. <laughs> just looking at your bl your b bloody footprints. Oh, what was that like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. What? Were, what were you saying? Strong Resident Evil vibes down here. <laughs> Just corpses in lab coats. Yeah. Resident Evil core. <laughs> Resident Evil core. Where did you come from? One of these ways. That guy 
Curses your game, dude. Curses you. <laughs> that is frustrating. Fuck. How do you feel? Good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good load times. That power of the PS5. Demonic ghost. I will say, what? Why would? Oh, why would um, a ghost have to walk up the stairs? Maybe there's some Can rules with this. Fly ghost. through. Maybe it's like pants or something. <laughs> like it's grounded in reality, space, somewhat. We've been in here. Yeah. Quantum break room. vibes. From Billy's patient reports, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks like at least 50 years of rough road, pain scratched deep in of rough road, pain scratched deep into what I can see. What? Killing you would be an act of kindness.
From the personal records of Dr. Vernica, Frankenstein or the Modern Prometheus by Mary Shelley, oh, Prometheus, published anonymously in 1818, chapter 4, excerpt. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example, how dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge, and how much happier that modest man uh, than he who aspires to become greater than his natural nature allows. I love Frankenstein. Such a good book. and the fear of the game crashing makes it that much more intense. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII over here, all these stairs. Am I right? Am I right? Final Fantasy VII? What the fuck are you talking about? Remember, there's the part of Final There's the part of Final Fantasy VII where you have to, where you don't have to, you can take the elevator or the stairs. It's sort of, the, yeah, the Shinra stairs. You can either take the elevator up to the top, no. or you can take the stairs up like 60 floors or something. I only did it once, so I don't remember. No. That's why I play games twice, because if I only do it once, I really can't remember something. <laughs> Sorry, Static again. A patient knelt in prayer. Maybe he bought Father Martin's line of bullshit. Maybe he hears what I hear, but more clearly. <clears throat> Maybe it's his way out of this place. The priest called it the Gospel of Sand. Crouch, crouch. Oh. Shut it down. break. Some aliens music, dude. Is it this? That's what I thought. Is it this? Oh. Realism. For that shit. <laughs> Cormac McCarthy? What is it? Cormac McCarthy? No. What's his name? Tom Bronco? No. <laughs> That's 
that seems like a concession. Genova, dude. Quantum break. Yeah, he is third rate minion. He's going through it. Whoa. Get out. Get out. Get out! Good. Wait, what was the name of the guy who... Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Morphogenic Engine Chamber Maintenance Schedule. To avoid patient inquiry, the Morphogenic Engine Life Pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Vital System 1. The enriched oxygenated per perfluocarbon from the life support fluid reservoir must be continually flushed and replaced through the co uh, course of the patient's treatment. Note that OP also supplies anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient to potentially disrupt the experiment. Vital System 2. Electric supply is supplemented and insured by the sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. Vital System 3. In the case of, the, of catastrophic loss of vitals System 1 and 2, the life pod failsafe will engage, maintaining localized minimum life support functions until technicians can arrive. Disabling failsafe will result in immediate patient termination. I feel like this entire setup could be uh, the Outlast Trials thing. Like, it eventually becomes this. You play as Because it's like multiple people, like, potted together, which is the whole point of the trials. I don't really understand why we did that. To shut it down, dude. To stop this ghost from, like, murdering everyone. Oh, that was stopping the ghost? Yeah, it was coming out of his consciousness in the pod. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So using his psychic energies. Yeah, but did you love the ending to get out? Yeah, I did. It was really stressful, but it was good. This feels like the end of the game. We're gonna make it! But I know that can't be true. Where is it? Have our speedrun strats paid off, Gabby? I don't know. GG, bro. You said there were like four more hours. I was trolling. <laughs> are you really? Yeah. You make a time, dude. Sick game, bruh. <laughs> no, I'm not disappointed. But I just, I'm, I'm in shock. Because really? you ever said there were four more hours. I was just like, really? Hmm? I was just fucking with you. Settling you in. To a <laughs> night of Outlast. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I wanted four more hours of being here. Thank you for playing as much as you did. Of course. I tried to play the parts where you're being chased. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I played a couple of them, but I died before getting out of them. So yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I think for sure... Playing Trials first. Whistleblower? I'm sorry, Whistleblower? Yeah. Made this harder? Yeah. But this also, I feel like we played Whistleblower for way longer. Probably. <laughs> it's a short game. Yeah. Um, it only took us about four hours. Yeah. Four and a half hours. Yeah. Good timing. Um, took you. <laughs> Someone said 50 minutes is the speedrun record. Yeah. That's crazy. I someone say 34 minutes. Maybe that's what the Jeez. Choir. Good music. Yeah. 
did everything in my mind. Truly, I really like this video game. A lot. Yeah. I feel like horror has gone from this type of zeitgeist. Like, we were getting so many of these games where you're, like, hiding, immersive, like, first-person horror games. And now, obviously, like, you know, Remake 2, third-person action horror is definitely the meta right now. Yeah. Um, a lot of jump scares. I'm trying to. Yeah. I, was it scarier than Trials, or was I What's just? It, to me, Whistleblower is like the scariest thing ever. Uh, uh, that's what I'm. And hey, it's your first, so it's like scarier when you do it for you know. Yeah. Going that's back what... is a little less scary. We've been here. We were in the asylum before. Yeah. You know. But I just like. Uh, is it actually less scary? I think Whistleblower is scarier. Okay. Because it's smaller and tighter and, like, more focused, a little more contained. Yeah. Because, like, when you, you know, when you have to gamify it, you got to gamify it a little bit. Like, you got to have moments where it's like, yo, find three fuses in this one section where you're being chased. Like, those can kind of drag a little bit and kind of mess with the tension. Yeah. Whereas Whistleblower, you don't really have to worry about going too long because it's, like, quick. Yeah. Yeah. Fun time. Shuck. I will you made say it possible, I, chat. I <laughs> <laughs> I will say I um Gabby play Outlast too. If you guys pay for it. Next next fundraiser. Outlast too. It's fun. It was a little less well received. That's what I've heard. But I still really like it. And it's fun to play any horror game with Huber, so. The Angels are up 24 to 0. Wow. Whoa! <laughs> Ever played the Order, 18, Order 1886? Yes, I have. I have played Order 1886. I love Order 1886. <sighs> GG's. Alright, chat. Two is cool because of the setting. Isn't it a cult? Yeah, so you're in like the woods a lot. It's like wilderness. Camp. How is the main character of two related to the this? Or unrelated. I think they're unrelated. I think you're like on a vacation or something and you get thrown into it. I think that's the vibe, maybe. Yeah, cool. I actually forget. I don't know. If, I forget if you go there to look into it or if you get like roped in. Uh, I will say <laughs> the one thing about this game that I don't like as much as the first one is it asks you to sympathize with the journalist. <laughs> that's a complete joke. That's a complete joke. <laughs> All right, chat. Thanks so much. What is this from? Ruka. What is it? Ruka. What's that? It's a like a clothing. Oh, company. it's just a brand. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought it was a reference. Yo, no, no, no. Okay. Just a clothing company. I really like. Um, chat, you made it happen because of your generosity. Yes. Because of the Easy Allies eight year fundraiser that we did you helped us out so much this was one of the goals we got to do a full playthrough of outlast so now gabby's played outlast and the dlc well i played the dlc it counts i mostly watched you Dude, we play we played like 50 50 <laughs> no that's not true check at all. the tape check the <laughs> tape it's so much it was probably like 60 40 then maybe <laughs> i think it was like 80 20 <laughs> Check the tape. <laughs> um, but we will be back here Tuesday. Tuesday for some crash. Is that it? Yeah, I think it is. I'm hyped on that. Really hyped. Got to play it at Summer Game Fest, <laughs> and I was so pumped. You see that? Well, you and Gabby Joseph was the naked twins. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm really hyped on Crash. It was one of those situations where I was so hyped and I was looking to the other allies like, man, guys, this is so good. And they were just like, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> but I was like really hyped on it. So we'll see. We'll see in this setting if it's good because it's a lot harder when you're just playing solo or on one TV versus all four of you landing on four TVs. Yeah. Pretty unmatched. That's what we're going to do? No. Oh. That's what we did at Summer Game Fest pretty hype. So we'll see Tuesday chat. 
some crap. I, <laughs> Tell me how he was unmoved. So yeah, <laughs> unmoved, unfazed. I um I know very little about Crash Team Rumble. It's a cool little battle game. Matches are like ten minutes. Fun. Super fun. And we will see you, Chet. Tuesday. Tuesday. Bye. Later.